All right. Dun 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 dun. Bum 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 bum. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Is the controller working? Yes, it is. Bum 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 bum. All right. Persona 4 Golden. We're back at it. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> 418, 553. I gotta find which one we were on. 422. 422, 423, 424, 425. 430. I'm guessing this is our file. It should be. All right, what are we looking like? Let's see, young mother, Yumi, Marie. I gotta hang out with you, Marie, at some point. <laughs> Yosuke number two, Chie. All right. And what's her personas looking like? Valkyrie, Kate Sith. Do I not have Izanagi on me? I guess I, I probably fused him at some point. Probably to get Valkyrie. And our team. Why am I why am I blanking on this? Stats. We saved Yukiko and we're waiting for her, right? That's what we're doing. Let me see. Oh. No midnight channel? What am I doing? Where am I? What happened? This month's schedule. The last day. A vacation, huh? Should we make reservations now? What is it, the Golden Week shit? Is that what we're doing? No, it can't be. It can't be the Golden Week shit, can it? I'm trying to remember what the fuck we did last time. It's been two weeks since we touched this game. Shit. Uh, fuck. Well, hey. It's been two weeks since we touched this game. Two weeks since we streamed, really, to be honest. Well, I say two weeks, but... More like... A week and a half, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure. Fucking... Thanks a lot, Windows 10, for fucking up my PC. Royally. Like, Jesus. That's the main reason I wasn't able to do anything last week. Fuck. Now I don't remember what the hell I was doing in this game. It's nighttime. I don't think we can go out. Do we have a job? <laughs> you feel like... <laughs> you feel Dojima ex exerting his authoritative influence on you. Oh, shit. You should give up on going out tonight. Anything in the fridge? You open the fridge. There's white miso. You think this should be used? For red miso, though. Used to be red miso. It's a package of red miso, but it's far past its expiration date. Do you want to eat it? <laughs> He's like, it's white. Mm, should be red. You want to eat that? Maybe I should eat it. Oh, I want to eat it so bad. Damn it. I'm afraid it's going to make me feel sick and make me, uh, make me skip a night. So, uh, do I have the fucking book on me? Oh, please tell me I have the book. Oh, I don't have a book. God damn it. I gotta buy a book. Somebody remind me to buy a book. Right now, we're just gonna study. Can't do nothing at night. We gotta study. Hey! Oh, I did read the book. Nice! Look at all those study points. Look how smart I am. You had the day off of school today. You wonder if someone will show up on the Midnight Channel. You can only wait and see. What do you do? Hello? It's me, Chie. You wanna have... You wanna hang out around the TV? No, I don't wanna do that. Why would I wanna do that, Chie? Why would I wanna do that? So the game's basically telling me, Hey man, you can go on TV wherever you want. But we're not gonna do that. I just wanna check something real quick. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I'm informed. Kindly. Rough expression. I need to work on those. I don't know the lyrics. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Go out till evening? Yeah, I got nothing else better to do with my life. Fuck. You know? I'm not gonna stay cooped up in the house all day. Sometimes you gotta go out. Sometimes you gotta breathe that fresh country air. Smell the dog shit right outside your house. Head to Junez. I'm not sure if uh, Dojima told us yet, because I don't remember what days shit starts at, but basically, we're starting to get to the point where we need to start looking around for fucking Adachi to hang out with them. He's very aloof. It's very hard to find the man. Not really. Hi, Marie. Alright. Expert methods. The lovely man. Still I get, still I get, oh baby, I need you. Alright. So what's the plan? Chie doesn't want to hang out because she wants to fuck around in the TV world. Can't hang out with Yukiko, not yet anyways. Yosuke's not available. The only one available is Marie. Jesus fuck. Do I have an Aeon? No, I don't. I think I need to be level what? 19 or something? Yeah, I'm going in, Marie. What's it look like I'm doing? Fuse Personas. What do we got? What can I do? Judgment, Temperance, Fortune, blah, 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 blah. Check my compendium. Pretty sure I have nothing in my compendium. Change display. No Aeon. That's okay. That's alright. It's a Sunday. So we can't really do much. Are the uh, jobs available? <laughs> Several jobs are available. Alright, they're not available yet. Damn it. I'm trying to think. Uh, I know we need to get another red fish in which to do that right now. Because we need two red fishies. Catching bugs made me thirsty. I want to tap soda. I'll fucking give you a tap in the back of your fucking head. Where's your parents, kid? <laughs> what child walks up to a stranger and goes, Yo, I'm hungry. Go get me something. Tap's not there. Where's Tap? You know, thinking of the soda machines, I'm thinking of Persona 3 where one of the characters go, I want a Mad Bull or some bullshit. And then you go, okay, I guess I'll go get it. Uh, you can only buy those on rainy days. Damn it, can I not access the fucking... No, I can't. God damn it. Yeah, but one of the characters go, I want a fucking Mad Bull. And he's like, alright, guess I go find a Mad Bull. And then you run around the whole entire city. Only to find out, man, I can't get a goddamn Mad Bull. Why the fuck am I in the store? Fuck off. You're like, man, I can't get a fucking Mad Bull. Guess I'll just head home with my... With my fucking head held super low. Only to find out that for some reason in all of the fucking city... Your dorm is the only fucking vending machine that has Mad Bull or some bullshit. And then you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? And then your character goes, man, I don't feel so good. I'm going to go to sleep. Your character is in a poor position. Oh, man. Poor condition. Makes me tired. Tatsumi Ladybug. Cool. Next time we're able to run around at night. Gotta do that. I have a fucking... I have a fish on me, right? I have one fish. Right? Yeah, we're gonna have to get another one. God, I love this music. It's so hard not to 
not to sing to it. Oh man. Oh man. It's making me smile. Alright. Let's see. Leave the district. I think I can only hang out with Marie right now, honestly. The Jima residence, I got a floodplain, no one's gonna be there. Uh ta -da, ta -da, and we're closed. So Marie! I just wish I had an Aeon persona. But I don't think I'm high enough level for it yet. I think I gotta be level 18. Um oh, while we're at it. While we're about the town. Nothing to sell. Okay, great. Fantastic. I'm so fucking broke. Is this better than what she has? Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah, put the chain mail on, Yukiko, for fuck's sake. You know, it's... I'm wearing a t-shirt? Just a regular old t-shirt. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's all setting in. <laughs> this dread. It's setting in. The fact that it's not New Game Plus, it's making me want to throw the fuck up. Alright, Marie, let's hang out. Come on, let's go. Let's go. That's what I said. Let's go. I want to go to Junez. I heard about that place. Seems Marie wants to go to Junez. You decided to take Marie to Junez. Alright. Come on, Marie, let's go. Let's hang out. Let's do it. Junez Electronics Department. You were dragged here by an excited Marie. Hey. Hey. What happened just now? Time sale? Everyone was rushing to grab something called salad dressing. Whatever. Here you go. Two salads. <laughs> Whatever it is, must be worth fighting for. Hmm? Oh, hey, Yukun. What a coincidence. What are you doing here? Who's this girl? She's cute. This? She's not my sister. <laughs> She's my friend. It's a friend. I am? Well, whatever. Oh, uh, so, can I ask for your name? Oh, um, Marie? Marie looks perplexed. Hmm, Marie-chan, huh? Oh, that's a nice name. Oh, I'm Chase Hanaka. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know what this is. It shows a lot of stuff. Oh, you came to look at TVs too? Yeah, I want one too. We still haven't replaced ours. Whatever. I don't want one. I don't. But... Maybe. Can you turn into star scandals? Ah, so you do want one. <laughs> so you do want one! Liar. What kind of show is that? Why? Uh, it's like one of those shows, right? The ones where they're all like, blah de blah de blah. Everybody watches it. Margaret told me that. For some reason, Marie seems proud of herself. So, how do you watch it? You explain to Marie how a fucking TV works. Huh? Huh? You're one of those people who don't watch TV? Fucking weirdo. That's right. There isn't one in the room. Really? Wow, you must have super strict parents. Girl. Girl! I don't know if I can stand by life with, Uh, stand by. I don't know if I can stand it. Life without kung fu movies? Uh, it's bad. Oh, but there's no electric outlets in that room. Hmm. Is it a prison cell? I'll tell the nose to install one of those electric outlets. There's nothing to do in there. Hey, wait, Marie-chan. You don't even have electricity in your room? Oh, poor girl. Junaz Food Court. I love how Chie is the only one who has... Chie has fucking two plates and they're both empty. You fucking... Garbage disposal? <laughs> Came with Marie and Chie. <laughs> well, that was some good stuff. Satisfaction. I haven't had that steak here in a while. You had it. 
Chia, you literally had it like last week. I don't know what else to tell you, you fucking animal. <laughs> hey, Breezy, how's it going? I haven't had the steak here in a while, but it really isn't all that bad. Marie Chan, you haven't eaten at all. You too, you. You gotta eat it if you wanna grow up big and strong. Just kidding. <laughs> big and strong, says the dainty little girl. You eat too fast. You're gonna be fat one day. I didn't need to hear that. Uh, I'll go get us drinks. Oolong tea sounds good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's a lot of people at this Junez place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? If they have TVs, they should be watching them instead of wasting time here. Mom! I'm thirsty! I want a soda! No, you just have one. I have to wait. And then you hear a big old fucking slap to the back of his dome. I want it. I said no. I'll rot your teeth. Oh, children. How I hate thee. <laughs> Marie watches the mother and son. Hey. hey, do you think I was ever like that? Mm, you don't remember? You're weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of things I don't remember. Like everything. Marie looks serious. I don't remember anything. I was just walking. I had nowhere to go, and I just ended up in that car. You want me to call the police, Marie? That sounds very fucked up. <laughs> then Margaret told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Marie. It'd be hard to get around without a name. Hmm. I can't remember anything. At all. Nope. I don't need to. Despite her casual words, Marie has a concerned expression. But, I don't know why, but this town is familiar to me. Did you live here before? I don't know. The only thing I remember, or more like know, is that this is mine. Marie's holding an old bamboo cone in her hand. I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But, so what? It doesn't really help anything. Marie confided in you about her memory. You feel your relationship with Marie has grown even deeper. Oh, thy pierced my heart with thy tale of woe. Marie's social link has reached level two. You're searching for the truth, right? You should stop. It's no such thing. That's kind of yes. fucked up. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up she just says that to me. So yeah, you should cut that shit out. It's bullshit. This conversation's boring. Let's talk about something else. I didn't start it. Sorry to keep you waiting. The shop was busy, so I just ordered and came back here. They'll bring it to us when it's ready. Uh, is it me or did the mood just change here? Don't worry, you too. I ordered for all of us. Long tea for everybody. <laughs> Fucking chia. She's like, what the fuck's going on here? Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. You're the best. One of the few children in the world that I like. All right, did you get any food, Nanako? Nothing catches your eyes. I'm going outside. You can't stop me. Breezy, I have to ask. Have you had time to play Persona again? Because it's been a while for me. It's been a while for me and I don't remember what the fuck we were doing. Trying to scrape up every bit of memory that I have left. Then I've also been playing some Dark Souls <laughs> for the past week. Dark Souls is time consuming. Ah, oh, welcome. Oh fuck, I forgot the voice I gave it. Whoa, is it Smoker Lady? Have you gone to the shrine up ahead? <laughs> the place is so empty at night. It's scary. It's only lively during the summer festivals. I've heard rumors that ghosts appear at night. Oh, they're very spooky. It's thanks to that good luck that I can keep this place open. I visit it every so often to pay my respects and offer the stones I've gathered. You should visit there too. I'm sure you'll be blessed with greatness. 
Do you have a present for my little Akihiko? Tatsumi Ladybug, here you go. Here, this is a little sum sum for your kindness. Red crumbs, thanks. Let's see. Just realize any step forward I take in college, something happens that makes me feel <laughs> makes feel like it puts me two steps back. Also feels like I go nowhere else. That's college for ya, and that's why I don't go to college. Haha. <laughs> I have this constant thing where I have a friend who will constantly tell me, like, you know, we'll get into a little discussion and he'll be like, listen, how are you going to tell me I'm in college? And I'll be like, listen, how are you going to tell me I tutored your ass in high school? Fucking you're in college. Shut the hell up. <laughs> to me, I find, I'm not going to say college is 100% useless because it's not depending on what you're doing, but to me, I find it kind of a scam because it's mostly just some asshole who barely remembers anything telling you how to remember things. And then sometimes you'll get that one teacher who's all like, listen, you need this book. I gotta have courage to be in here. Oh my god, really? Damn it. <laughs> uh, you have, um, you have this one teacher that's like, fucking, you wanna pass this class? Buy this book. You're not going to pass the class unless you buy this book. And then you go and buy the book and you flip it over and the author of the book is the fucking teacher. And you go, what? <laughs> You're like, what? What is this? Uh, Jesus. Just the things they don't tell you when beginning college. Yeah, like they're going to royally fuck you over. <laughs> Jesus. College is weird dog digging in a hole. If you have a shovel, you can help that dog out. Um, Actually, you know what I gotta do? I gotta save scum this because I only have one. I gotta get that golden, that golden bullshit. Been on a great age, great age? What the hell am I saying? Been on a great ace binge since Christmas. Maybe you'll pick up Persona 4 sometime this week. I haven't been able to touch either of the fucking two. Just been playing Dark Souls on my spare time because I may or may not do something later this year. Speaking about shit happening later this year, fucking, uh, whatchamacallit? The Pokemon Marathon thing. Fucking, that's gonna have to start later than I thought it would. Because <laughs> I'm running against some problems. Could have saved so much time and money and state. Then out of state. Oh my god, you went out of state for college? Jesus fuck. Better be a good ass college. Uh, buy those extra textbooks. Have little grants help. Yeah, grants are full of shit. <laughs> it helps, but kind of full of shit. Alright. Now taking breaks between semesters is still costly. Yeah, cost of living. Yeah. Fucking sucks. I already have other breadcrumbs. God damn it. All right, so we need a goldfish. We need another goldfish. That's what we got to do. And I can only fish once because my diligence is super low, I think. So I'm going to save scum this. Because if I don't get a goldfish, I'm going to start crying. Fucking fuck, man. Damn it. The one thing, the one thing I, oh. I say one thing, but fuck, god damn it. Hi, Yukiko. It's raining. It's not going to last past nightfall, though. Every time it rained while I was over there, you must have been. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so gloomy. You mean like you are every day? <laughs> I know. Golden Week starts tomorrow, right? You got any plans? I got a family outing. I see. Listen, I'm not going to tell her that we're going to fucking Junez. That's kind of sad. You got any plans? Yeah, me and my family are going to spend the weekend at Walmart. It's great. But at least it looks like we're going to have clear skies all week. It'd be nice if you can't, if you could stay, oh God, it'd be nice if it could stay peaceful like this. But the mystery hasn't been solved yet. Perhaps we should visit over there once in a while if you catch my drift. <laughs> so we can become stronger. All right, now. I can't read that word. What is it? Crocheting? Am I... Is it crocheting? I'm sorry. You're what? <laughs> it's crocheting, right? Yeah, okay. Crocheting more than that. Oh, that's good, though. I don't know why the fuck I couldn't understand. My brain just went, that's not a real word. 
I'm hearing a lot of chatter about Golden Week, but don't forget that first and foremost, you're students. Your duty is to study. You don't have time to fool around, alright? Don't misunderstand what freedom means. It doesn't mean that you can live without taking responsibility. Even Pythagoras said- Pythagoras? Yeah, even Pythagoras said, As soon as laws are necessary for men, there's no longer fit for freedom. Next order of business, midterms are coming up next week. The results will be posted to humiliate low-scoring losers. Hanamura, I'm looking at you. <laughs> you don't want to be shamed, study hard. It's that simple. If you do well, you know who knows? You might become more popular amongst the Cretans. And, and you know, popularity leads to intimacy. <laughs> He's like, you want to be popular? You want to get your dick wet? Let me tell you how to do that. On top of that, my reputation goes up. It's a win-win situation. People, like I said, study hard. Your knowledge, the knowledge of how to get your dick wet, has increased your brain power. Alright, sadly. Sadly, I'm gonna have to fucking reload this, though. Ah, fuck. It's in system. I'm gonna save scum the fuck out of this. Game's too real sometimes. <laughs> Alright. Hope I get the fucking, uh... Hope I get the whatchamacallit. The, why the fuck did I go back home? Get the red goldfish. Fuck. I can't speak tonight. I just woke up like fucking 20 minutes ago. Don't judge me. I, uh, I think I'm definitely getting the goldfish this time, because it's only like one ripple in the water. Goldfish! Come to me. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. You cannot defeat me, little fishy. Now that we have two goldfish, we're set for the future. So we don't have to waste time. Just gonna skip that. Alright, cool. Will someone show up on the Midnight Channel? Who knows? These two don't want to hang out. Go fuck yourselves. Alright, so what we need to do... Right? Well, not what we need to do. On this playthrough, I can do whatever the fuck I want because I'm running one in the background. So that we can, you know, get that beautiful all uh social links ending but what i will say is that on the first the first half of the game before summer vacay you want to focus on as many people in the school building as you can but since it's the week before midterms no one's going to be hanging out with you sadly it's very sad leave school yep Honestly, you don't have to deal with your teammates until, like, summer vacay, because that's when, at that point, fucking, they're always available. It's just that the people outside of school, or not outside of school, the people in school are not going to be available. It's also Monday. We can't fucking do the stupid thing, but what we can do, if I have enough money and if I'm not broke. Oh, I'm too broke for it. Damn it. I was going to say, what we can do is we can fucking go eat at Aya's on the rainy day take that challenge let me see maybe i have some stones i can sell to you plain ring take it i don't need it stones i'm not really going to be using them you can trade them in for items and stuff like that but i'm not really going to be using them this playthrough so i never really use them it's not worth it it's not worth it to me sell for money sell your stones Pull a Gwyneth Paltrow if you need to. Look like, hey man, these fucking rocks I found near the river heal scoliosis. Do you want it? Put that meat in your mouth. You gotta do it. You accepted the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal into the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. 
In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against the colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special me- Special? Special? There's my ghetto-ness. Special mega beef bowl challenge. I almost did the whole thing without fucking it up, too. Damn it. You're unable to finish your meal in your current state, you pathetic little bitch. You tried your best to finish the rainy day special uh, blah, 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 blah. rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. And your personality has grown tremendously. Ah, oh, yeah, too bad, Mister. That'll be. I'm looking at him right now. Is he rocking a fucking Hitler stash? <laughs> also, I love how if you look at him closely, his mouth opens up for like a split second. Look at it. Ah, <laughs> that'd be three thousand. All right. That man's rocking a Hitler stash. Jesus fuck. An Inaba Credit Union ATM to the north of town was destroyed today by an earth mover, and all cash inside was stolen. What the fuck is an earth mover? What? The vehicle, which was abandoned at the scene, had been reported stolen by a local contractor. An earth mover? You mean like a like a bulldozer? What are you talking about? Since the culprit was able to act quickly before the security guards arrived on the scene, the police have... <sighs> oh, what's wrong, Nanako? Oh, fuck your father. <laughs> When isn't he late, Nanako? You would imagine you get used to it by now. Hello, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, yeah, it's Golden yeah. Week. Yeah. Okay. Aww. All right. Sad Nanako. He said to give you the phone. He can't take those days off. Sorry, but I'm gonna be late tonight. Make sure you lock up before you go to sleep. How do you guys make this sound? I love that it's like no music and it's just like, let the depression set in right now. Just let it. And about that time off on the 4th and the 5th, one of the younger guys got sick. Well, fuck that guy. And, well, that case he's handling, we can't just let it sit. Looks like I'm the only one who can take over for him. You know the case he's handling? The one that's not the murders? We can't let it sit. Aw, poor Nanako. Sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden. Um, how's Nanako holding up? I just said poor Nanako. What the fuck do you think? Do you mind comforting her for me? Thanks. Alright then. See ya. Man, Nanako is really sad. Oh man, that sucks. How do you think Nanako is feeling? What? There's a text next week. You want to study? Fuck no, of course I don't. It's raining tonight, right? Um. Shit. One of these days, I'm going to have to start the game at 12 o'clock, right? Because there's a little Easter egg you can do at 12 o'clock for this game. And I want to show it off. Uh, I can study. There's really nothing else for me to do at night. Eh, fuck it, yeah, let's study, why not? Can't do anything else right now, anyways. And we're gonna need knowledge for Social Link later. It's Tuesday. Today is Constitution Day, so you got the day off. You wonder if it'll rain. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? That's why I'm wondering. Hi, Nanako. Oh, morning. Nanako's watching TV as usual. It sounds like someone's here. She ain't came to see you. Oh, cool. You're home. Yeah, I am. Hey, if you're free today, want to go somewhere? Yukiko's coming, too. How about you, Nanako-chan? Want to come? Um... 
Eh, you'd rather watch TV. Then here we go. Cool, go get your shoes, Nanako. We're out. We're fucking out of here. So study's only good for knowledge, or also midterms. You can get knowledge passively, uh, through like you know answering the questions that they give you and stuff like that. But you want to study. You want to study whenever you have free time for it because it's good for knowledge, and knowledge is good for for both midterms, that will help you get a higher score that will increase your social link with everyone in your school, from your party members to the people within the school. And then it also is an access way for uh, one social link down the road, like far down the road. But it's an important social link, so you should do it. You met up with Yosuke, who's still on the clock, and Yukiko, who finished her work back at the end. Why'd you bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? She wanted to come. It was her fucking favorite place. Where else is there to go? I love Juness. Nanako-chan. But we were supposed to go on a real trip somewhere. We were going to make boxed lunches. Wow, you can make boxed lunches, Nanako-chan? <laughs> that must be a super surprise here, Yukiko, since you can't cook. So, wow, you oh, can cook food? You're the family cook? Pretty impressive, big bro. I am big bro. Big bro. Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh, no. What? What does that mean? What do you mean? What are you talking about? I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. I don't believe that. If you'd asked, I would have whipped up some boxed lunches. Easy as pie. Yeah. Yeah, fucking rice and hot dogs don't count, you. Uh, let me think about no. <laughs> what makes you think I can't cook? Let's have a cook-off and see for ourselves. My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. But I have this weird feeling like I'd win anyway. <laughs> I can understand that. Speaking about cooking, I had a, first of all, Last week I cooked a duck. It was delicious as fuck. So, mwah, do beautiful, right? I took some of its skin fat, made a nice little glaze out of it. It was beautiful. But um, fucking speaking about cooking, I have a friend. I remember one time he was telling me about like, yeah, he cooks all the time. I know how to cook. Hey, I'll give you some of my cooking next time. I was like, all right, sure. So then he brings some soup one day. He's like, here, try this. I try a little bit of it, and I was like, I don't know how to tell this man. This shit tastes like dishwater. I don't know what to tell him. I can't even taste the vegetables. What did you do? <laughs> There's no seasoning in this. What the? Yukiko! I didn't know how to tell the man. Nanako-chan can be our judge. So I looked at him, I said, this tastes like dishwater. <laughs> Just hold it to him straight. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. I don't have a mom. She died in an accident. What the fuck, Yosuke? Hey, Yosuke. I see. Um. <laughs> Damn, Yosuke, you're just super unlucky, my guy. Sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. Barely. And now I have a brother, too. Aww. And I'm having a lot of fun today. I love Juness. Yeah? That's good. <laughs> we'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako-chan. Yeah, we should hang out more often. Come on, Nanako-chan. Let's go get a soda. Okay. She's a strong girl. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. Maybe because you fucking arch, yeah. That's it. Miss, I, I broke my TV like doing kung fu too. moves and my fucking no, not her TV. What was it? Her lamp? She broke her lamp <laughs> doing kung fu moves in her fucking room. Do you 
want something too? Nanako gives you a carefree smile. Feel a faint bond formed between you and Nanako. And then since that day, Yunarakami has had a sister complex. I art thou, thou am I. Thou hast established new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Justice Arcana. Justice. You have established the Nanako Dojima social link of the Justice Arcana. You may earn the XP bonus when fusing personas of the Justice Arcana. Wanna share some takoyaki? Fuck yeah. Love takoyaki. It's nothing but bread and octopus, and maybe some veg. You have fun with Nanako and your friends. Quick side note of the cooking topic. If you do eat it, how does one make grits? I don't like grits. I really don't. Um, so I barely make it, but the way I see my mom and other people make it is I think, I think it's kind of, I think grits is literally just kind of like oatmeal. Like you get a fucking box of grits. You pour it, put some water in it, maybe throw cheese in it if you want to be all Southern about it. Throw some cheese or butter or milk or some bullshit. It's kind of like oatmeal, really, I think. At least that's what I remember. I don't make grits. I really don't. <laughs> I don't make them. I don't eat them that much. Remember your sister making grits and you had to help, but she added a lot of, like, sea salt and craft single... Oh, crafts! Why? <laughs> oh. So, can never look at it the same way. I understand putting cheese in it, right? Like, there's two types of craft singles. There's the one that comes in the fucking plastic wrapping that's like squared and towered up together. That's the worst one. That's the one that's like fucking rubber. And then there's the there's the craft singles deluxe shit that comes in the the long blue packet. That's the one that actually tastes pretty good. Or you can just, you know, head to your butcher and get some freshly cut cheese. That's even better. Freshly cut American cheese. That's way better. But yeah, put in some cheese and grits. I think that's the only I think that's the only time I'll ever really eat grits if they're like really cheesy. But at that point, you might as well just fucking melt cheese and put it on a plate. <laughs> cheese is great. Can we all agree that cheese is just wonderful? Uh, the one she used was the square one. Oh shit, yeah, the one that feels like plastic when you hold it in your hands. The one that has like an unnatural glossy sheen to it. The one that you can see the little bits of plastic on the side <laughs> if you stare at the slices hard enough. Fucking aww. It was a bad first impression, yeah. Um, you can either do cheese, some people do... You said she put fucking sea salt in it? Salt and pepper, I understand. Sea salt is vastly different from just regular table salt. Jesus fuck. Sea salt. Only time I ever use sea salt is when I was making like ice cream and shit. Or like if I need to garnish it on some brownies or some fucking, I don't know. <laughs> right? There's a dried up pickle in the- It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. It's a dried up pickle in a plastic bag. You wanna eat it? Hey man, I give you a nickel to tickle this pickle. It tastes really fucking good. Courage has increased. However, you don't feel so well. You decided to go to bed early today. Fuck. <laughs> One sec. Oh, man. Today's nature day. Nature day? You mean like Earth Day? Do people even celebrate Earth Day anymore? I remember when I remember when Earth Day used to be kind of a big thing, where they're like, "It's Earth Day, make sure you recycle." Now no one ever mentions it, ever. All right? It was Pink Himalayan. Okay, yeah. Pink Himalayan is Pink Himalayan's fine. Um, there's really there's really not that much difference between Pink Himalayan salt and regular salt. I think it might have a bit. I think it might have a bit of more like. 
minerals or some shit in it. Ir uh, iron. What the hell am I saying? Either It's like something like it has more minerals in it or fucking... Or like vitamins or some bullshit, but not by that much. Not, not enough to make a difference. So... But I'd rather use pink Himalayan than regular salt. I would anyways. It's not that much different. Culture salt is the same thing. It's only bigger and easier to handle with your hands. It's very coarse. And stuff like that. That's why a lot of people like, I use culture salt. Alright? It's just still regular salt. It's just thicker and easier to, you know, put the amount on and stuff like that. And if you got that, you know, black pepper, make sure you get a nice little pepper cracker and you just fr freshly crack that shit. Because it's great. Let's see if I can find someone else to come along with us. How about you go... Fuck yourself, Yosuke. I see. I was thinking we can hang out with Nanako, but uh, I guess it'd be annoying if I asked you guys to do stuff, huh? See you later. Why well, you gotta be so passive-aggressive about it, Yosuke? I think that's actually a pretty good, uh... I think that's one of the ones you actually want to hang out with. Because you hang out with Yosuke, Nanako, Ko, and Daisuke. So you get like three social links, uh, increased. So that's a pretty good one to hang out with. You should say yes to that. <laughs> I should have said yes to that. But I want to see if Maria is available. Since I don't have an A on a crown, I'm going to have to work with that. Parents tried to use salt-free seasoning once. My taste buds were slightly offended. <laughs> I, I can see using salt-free seasoning, right? Because sometimes... Because, you know, meat in general has, uh, has, already has a lot of sodium in it. So sometimes you just don't want to do that. You know, I'm fine with doing that. That doesn't really bother me. I can go without using salt from time to time. I say from time to time. I mostly do that anyways, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to be fucking Gordon Ramsay about it. Like, salt does help. It does awaken a little bit of more flavor in it. But you can get the same effect with fucking, uh, what is it? MSG? It's better alternative. It's better. Rather have no salt. Rather have no salt than that. It just tastes a little weird. Eh. What did they use it on? Just like chicken and shit? I can understand not using salt on a turkey, right? Because turkey is naturally pretty fucking dry. It's naturally a pretty dry ass meat. Mm -mm. Oh, they used it on they used it on turkey. Yeah. But since you know, since you're not gonna use salt on turkey, what what you'd rather do is get some unsalted butter. Stick your hands between the, the skin and the meat of the turkey and work it in there. Get it all up in there. Give it some of that good old lovin'. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Can hang out with Chie. Ah, uh, Marie. Alright, so, two things you want to do. You want to hang out with Marie. There are some social links that have hard time limits to it. So things you really want to focus on is Nanako, Dojima, Marie, Adachi. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's another one that has kind of a hard time limit. Uh, I think that's it, really. And for the Death Arcana, when we unlock that, we won't really need any Persona for that. Uh, I did find out that um, hanging out with Marie... That hanging out with Marie, um, an AR, uh, AR, what the hell am I saying? An Aeon Arcana does actually help a lot. It does make it go by slightly faster, I think. Welcome home. Yeah, but, you know, once you get the, once you get the go-ahead to hang out with, with Nanako, you know, you want to start... Making a beeline towards her. She has a hard time limit. Her and Dojima have a really fucking hard time limit. It's like, when you get to this day, you can't hang out with them no more. 
they don't want to be your friends no more. They think they're better than you. Guess you're grinding the last dungeon. Uh, <laughs> for more time on Essling. Also, uh, when you get to... You're going to get to a dungeon. That is around... Because I fucked this up on one of my New Game Plus's playthroughs. Because I never really had a problem with it. Uh, when you get to... You're going to get to a dungeon. Where the dungeon is kind of... Minor spoilers. Dungeon is kind of like... It looks like Inaba, Inaba, but it's a fucked up version of it. When you get to that dungeon, the stop date for that is... Uh, December 24th is the last day you can go in, I think. So on Christmas Day, you can't do it no more. Even... Do you want to wait until fucking... Uh, you want to do it on the day of Christmas Eve. Because if you finish it earlier, the story's going to automatically progress and you won't be able to hang out with any people from that point onward. So, I fucked that up on one of my playthroughs. I was like, yeah, I was like, almost max social link everyone. All I got to do is hang out with Kanji one more time. And then I was like, I think I can go. I can't hang out with Kanji today, but I can go beat that dungeon. Went and did it and then story progressed. And I went, what the fuck, man? And I didn't save the game beforehand, and I was like, fuck! My last save was like five months ago! Uh, let's see, what am I doing here at night? You know what? I should just use, I should use all the time I have to study, right? Mm -mm -mm. Greatly noted. Yeah. Persona 5 really helped out a lot with the... Uh, the social link management, right? And then Persona 5 Royal helped out tremendously because finally you can actually, you know, go get a drink of coffee whenever Morgana told you you were feeling tired, I guess. Man, I won't forget those days. Just you go home, Morgana's like, hey man, you're fucking tired. You should get some sleep. Why don't I just have some coffee from the coffee shop that I live in? No, you're tired. You decided to go somewhere you don't usually go. Hey, guess what? These don't matter. Go to the fucking shrine. It's the only thing you can actually do. And this social link is pretty fun, too. There's no one... Uh, what? Why did I read it like that? There's no one on the premises. The dusty shrine doesn't seem to be well-maintained. You decided to go home. You sent someone watching you. Oh shit! A mysterious fox suddenly appears before you. Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Emma plaque in its mouth. The mysterious fox nudges the Emma into your hands. It reads, Please help Grandpa's legs! The Emma has someone's wish written on it. Why did the fox give it to you? Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusual shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. Is this also the work of the mysterious fox? Oh, not every day you see youngins like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. They come by to tidy things up once in a while, but <laughs> my legs are so achy breaky. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just isn't enough money to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. If my legs don't heal, I can't maintain the shrine. I won't be able to visit Kita anymore. My grandson, you know. He's my grandson, you know. What is his name again? Gary? Gary Oak? Blue? Terry Oak? Nah, that doesn't sound right. You wonder if it could be the same Kita who wrote the Emma. Emma says, please help my grandpa's legs get better. Hmm, what's that you got in your hand? Could it be? That's a leaf, that is it. Way back when, my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Ah, what memories. But how'd you get your hands on this? I didn't think you can find those in the mountains anymore. Please, young man, can I trouble you to spare me some of that dank-ass weed? You gave the old man the leaf that was stuck on the back of the Emma. Oh, this is it. This is it. 
Now let's see here. Just take it and rub it up to my leg. The man stuck the leaf onto his knee. Oh, oh, I can feel it. It's working. Amazing! The pain I've been feeling, I've been feeling for who knows how long, just up and vanished. <laughs> I just imagine the old man taking the leaf slowly, taps it on his leg, and he's like, Oh, I'm healed! You really helped me out there, young man. I'm so grateful. Now I can go visit my grandson. I better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. Oh, God. <laughs> just walks up to him, he's like, Here, take my money! Not only did it heal his aches, he even restored his vitality. His erectile dysfunction is now working. The fox looks, uh, locks, uh, that thou can't read. The fox looks from his hiding place with a content expression. It seems it understands that the wish on the Emma had been granted. The fox is peering into the offertory box as if to check the contents. Mmm, money. It even seems to understand that the shrine has received an offering. Perhaps you were given the Emma with the leaf for that express purpose. Yep. It seems that it's taken a liking to you. It has a mouthful of the same leaves as the ones you gave the old man. It seems Fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers. The Fox is looking up mirth mirthfully? I don't even- what the fuck? Is there something it wants from you? You cannot help but think how strange an encounter this is, as you realize the fox is showing you a pile of leaves. <laughs> He's like, what am I doing here? Fox just show me leaves, and it's like, hey man, you want some of this shit? You want some of this icky sticky? <laughs> sticky icky? You feel a faint bond form between you and the fox. Kinda imagine the old man somehow drop kicks in the MC for the remedy. <laughs> Oh, you want to talk about drop kicks? Um, wait, hold up. Thou or I, art thou? Thou has established a new bond. It brings light closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Hermit Arcana. Put some of that magical pixie dust in my soul. You've established the Fox Social Link. The earning XP for the Hermit. All right, cool. Where does it find such amazing leaves? Where does it find some of this dank-ass shit? You reflect on how useful it will be to have this kind of help when searching for the other side. Yeah, well, you're high as fuck. Yeah, I find the other side, alright. Doesn't understand your thoughts? The Fox Stretcher stores the off Tory box. It is it's offering its services for a price. He said, listen. You want some of this good shit? 30 beans. Are you young man? 30. <laughs> Seems Mysterious Fox has agreed to aid you in your search. However, it appears that it will require a fee for its cooperation. But you turned the image to the shrine and went home. Okay, cool. So speaking about dropkicks. If, uh, if you got a good social link with Kanji going on, and, you know, they have the, uh, you know, your party members get the ability to take a mortal blow for you. The way Kanji does it is that if you're about to die, Kanji goes, Fuck that! Runs over to you and drop kicks you out the way. <laughs> you decided to go home. I remember the first time I saw that, I said, Did that motherfucker just drop kick me? <laughs> oh man, Kanji's the best. The prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. Wait, was that- was that the fucking thing Dojima had to fucking stay after for? The goddamn a Fuck yourself! The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was- A bitch. I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are- well, he's not calling in sick. He's getting his dick wet. That's the only option. Welcome back. Calling in sick on Golden Week? Like, you really think that... You really think he's sick? Shut up. I know what he's doing. He fucking... He went on that video game sale, that Golden Week sale, bought a bunch of video games, started playing that shit. Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. 
No problem. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? I love it. Nautico, you're so you're so precious and optimistic. Cause instead of going like, wait, motherfucker, you went to Junez without me? You still had time to go to Junez? <laughs> the one place I wanted to go? Instead of instead of like looking at him like, what the fuck, man? She goes, Oh man, you went to Junez. Great. <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is children's day. Has Nanako ever thought about using the shrine to have the Juma stay longer? I highly doubt it. She's only like, what, nine years old? I don't think she cares about that shit. <laughs> I don't even think she... Re no, remember, what's the word? I don't even think she just... It ever crosses her mind. You know? So I brought you a present. The Dojimas don't see religious. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, a t-shirt! Took me a while to decide what to get you. A t-shirt like with a platypus on it. Nature's mistake. <laughs> wow, there's a picture on the front. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Man, it's like it's like God just fucking went and <laughs> clicked on a randomizer. He got the fucking platypus. Especially when it's like only one of the genders have poisonous claws. It's like what? Why? I got you one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. He's like, I got you something. I know you're not a child no more, so <laughs> put this to good use. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm talking about. It's a swimsuit. I'm gonna get lucky with these. I thought you might need one soon. <laughs> I just imagine Dojima just looking at you with shifty eyes going, Yeah, I thought you might need one soon, huh? Getting that uh getting that dick wet. Well then, let's eat. Okay. You know, Dojima, I don't want to eat after thinking about my penis. I'm sorry. It's just call me crazy, but I don't think that's good. It's been a pleasant evening with the Dojimas. <laughs> All right. We got to get a nighttime job because Dojima's gonna fucking wall us off at every corner. Why the fuck can I- hold up. I should be able to hang out with Nanako from now on. What the fuck? Nanako! What's going on? <laughs> T-shirt got a platypus on it. Doesn't it look funny? Yeah, it's funny. You know what else is funny? The fact you won't let me hang out with you, Nanako. That's fucked up. Hit the books, baby. As you study, you read a number in dictionary entries that piqued your interest. Ah, you're now an expert. I'm a bit of an expert. I'm so smart. Yo! That's a loud ass bike. Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Man, maybe you need a new one. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way. Man, I remember being a kid, and like scooters used to be the rage, and then scooters being the rage turned into bikes being the rage, and then you get to a point where everyone's like, fuck that, what about a dirt bike or a fucking, or uh, what's it called, um, what is it called, ATVs? Or some bullshit, right? You know? Whereas the kids like to call it a quad. Fucking stupid. But, um, and then, you know, once you get old enough, they're like, fuck all that shit. Look at this car I got. I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. Oh, that her mom's dead? After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. All right, Yosuke, keep your dick in your pants, all right? Cool. Count on you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Same to you. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. All right, Yosuke, keep your dick in oh, your pants. Yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I Never mind, you know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Oh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up, too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. <sighs> oh, well. Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. 
I love how Yosuke tried to be slick and add that into the conversation. He's like, you know, until I get my uh, <coughs> motorcycle license. What's up? Hey, man, how's it going? You free this afternoon? Can you come with me? Someplace I want to go. Think about it, okay? Da -da -da -ba -ba -da -da -da. All right. Why do the holidays have to end so fast? I know, right? At least they were peaceful. I never get to celebrate Christmas. It never feels like Christmas to me. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? Hmm. I doubt this is over. If mm. it is, be one short fucking game. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder, will someone show up on TV again if it rains? We only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Eh, it's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. Just put the fucking glasses on her right now. <laughs> the sunglasses slowly come down. We'll just fucking deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Uh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. What about my gift? I'm a fucking expert. What? Hey, Yosuke. Why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Not for fucking long now that I'm here. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Private lesson? Huh? What's wrong? What the fuck, Yukiko? Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. What the f- What do you think? I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. Well, that's your problem. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez. It's like, man, you can go want to study? What the fuck was that for? Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. W what did I do? It is your fault, Chie. Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? Yeah, but he just said private lessons. He didn't go, hmm, private lessons. Like, what? what? Then it's mostly my fault? You guys double teamed the shit out of him. I start heading home. You set him up for failure, Chie. What the fuck? <laughs> you did that shit on purpose. Out here plotting on his downfall. Jesus. Hey, Yukiko. Wanna study? Bam! <laughs> Guess that answered my question. All right, so I don't need to worry too much about studying because I am a bit of an expert, but um, it's Friday, so that means I'm going to go hang out with the daycare. All right, bus stop. You can work. Cool. This is one of the most annoying fussing. Fussing? What the hell am I saying? Most I can't even fucking speak. Jesus. One of the most annoying fucking, uh, social links to get up. Mm -mm -mm. Mister, let's arm wrestle. I'm the champion. No one goes easy on me. Just fucking put him through a goddamn table. Understanding has increased. Good afternoon. Oh, it's you. You kun was it? You kun you get along with Mr. You? Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Why we gotta have the same name? Jesus fuck. No. You don't have to come pick me up. Oh. Little shit kid. Do you like children? <laughs> I'm on the fence. Children seem to uh, like those kind of people. I was watching a TV special. They said the outstanding father is the man who isn't conscious. Con God damn it. Who isn't conscious of his children. 
can't read. That's so tiring. I don't hate him, but... <laughs> you have problems with him? Do you like him? Got problems with him? It's more complicated than that. Still a child, I see. I didn't like coming here because I ran into the other mons- uh, I say the other monsters. <laughs> I ran into the other mothers, but... Huh. Ares smiled weakly. He felt like you can understand Ares' feeling of loneliness a bit. Oh, my husband is away for the... For the year. On a business trip. And I'm so lonely at home. If only I had some company. Hi, are you Tukun's mother? Is it okay for you to leave Yutakun by himself for this long? I'm not sure it's such a good idea. Even if you are worried about the young new caretaker being able to watch over your child. Yes, of course. I'm sorry to trouble you. Then, if you'll excuse me. God damn, ladies, why are you up her ass like that? Get off her fucking back. You're back. I am back. Nanako, why do you hate me? Why don't you want to hang out with me? What, what's going on? What am I doing? I don't have a Justice Archive. I'm gonna have to make sure to grab one at some point. Alright. Let's see. Uh, I could just keep studying like a motherfucker. Or, we can make some goddamn money, start making some envelopes, it, uh, seek the work benefits, diligence, diligence. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't go outside. I was gonna see if I can grab the other, uh, jobs. I usually don't worry about them, because, uh, <laughs> cause I do New Game Plus and you don't need to do this shit. I'm gonna make some envelopes. Get my diligence up. You decided to work on making envelopes. You quiet, uh, quietly continued dull task. Your diligence has increased. Getting distracted. Concentrate! Fuck! I concentrated too hard. I made 600. Damn it! How you fuck up folding envelopes? All this rain, I hate rain. It's supposed to keep raining until this evening, too. Speaking of misery, midterm starts next Monday. They even post the results up for everyone to see. I don't worry about it. Your life isn't going to be ruined by one little piece of paper, is it? What? How can you possibly believe that? Getting good grades has benefits when interacting with people. Talented people really are more highly valued in society, aren't they? Not really. You can be super talented, but if you're not, if you don't meet the standards of beauty, no one gives a fuck. Mr. Hosoi? That's his name, right? Mr. Hosoi, have you picked up the latest edition of Bully Teacher yet? Bully Teacher? That teacher sounds like a loser. <laughs> Getting bullied by your students? Of course I did, but it's raining today. I hope to get some... What? I hope to get it home without getting it all wet. Put it in a fucking bag. So, does anyone have any extra book covers they... They kind of, they're kind enough to limit. Whoops, I gotta start the lecture. Don't try to distract me by talking about books. Today, we're gonna discuss Co 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 Kokoro? Kokoro! By so, by so, fuck, whatever, man. <laughs> Before we get to the actual literature, I'll ask a question about whatever the fuck your name is. Hmm, how about Narukami-chan, the city boy? Yes. Do you know how so uh, Soseki? So Seki Natsume translated the English phrase, I love you, into Japanese. The moon, the moon is beautiful, isn't it? Ah, oh, you're very knowledgeable. Yes, I am a bit of an expert. Yep, he translated it to, the moon is beautiful, isn't it? By the way, the person who translated it as, I could die, was Seaman. <laughs> His name is Seaman. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it, but it looks like it, so, you know. Although he translated it from Russian, not English, it's still similar to, you know, whatever the fuck. Alright, cool. I answered it correctly. My knowledge has increased, because I'm cool. I'm like that. I can get away with shit. 
you hear thunder rumbling. Hey, Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. He really shouldn't have, since you got since you since you guys kind of been beating on Yosuke, you know. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Ah! <laughs> You're freaking out way too much. Even though she's scared of lightning, her weakness is fire. Make it make sense. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! You got him bitch slapped the other day, why should he? If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! Oof. Huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away, but I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. There, there he goes again, just casually putting in a conversation. I don't give a fuck, Yosuke. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke-kun? Um, uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. My bonus! Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you! Goodbye! I don't get this. Hey, I don't get this, right? So, the story is, Yosuke's father moved to Inaba to be the fucking... To be what the executive manager, like the head manager of the new Junas place, right? But instead of answering to his father, he answers to someone else who still has the right to fuck his pay. <laughs> what? Wait, what kind of pyramid scheme bullshit is this? What are you looking at me for? Oh, go fuck yourself, GA. Uh, why did this have to happen? You guys out here plotting on this man's downfall. Can we just go home. Chie, do you know this story? Your girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. You're fucked up, Yukiko. <laughs> she ventured into the girls' room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror. Hold it right there. What are you talking about? Huh? It's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. Yeah, but why tell it now? Chie's on the verge of tears. What should you do? All right, listen, listen, listen. You gotta comfort her, right? She like you get a little social points to it. But I gotta be equal in this. Ah, someone's here! He touched me! It's, it's a ghost! Wait, was that you? Jeez, you suck! <laughs> uh, why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Well, yeah, with how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home! What the fuck are you, a dog, Chie? Jesus. She's like, you fucking suck, man! What's wrong with you? Uh, somehow her weakness isn't lightning. I don't get it. So it's thundering today. It's before midterms. It's not much we can do. But we can head back to Ayo. Do I got enough money for that? Yes, I do. You know, get my stats up by putting that meat in my mouth. Oh, it's no music when it rains. It makes me feel very sad. Oh, shit, while I'm here, let me do this. Yeah. Oh, wait, I already have the envelope job. What the fuck? Translator! Cool. Uh, shit. 
origami crane folding. Yes. I am done looking, right? Yep, there's nothing else. Time to put that meat in my mouth. Oh yes, you put the meat in my mouth. Start eating it up. You're unable to finish your meal. Oh no, that's bad. You tried your best. You're on standing increase. Courage. I am now reliable. Diligence. Nice. Too bad, mister. Come back soon. So the next time I come here, I think if you come to Aya four times, you get a book called The Ramen Way or some bullshit. I think it increases expression. It stopped raining, but the thunder was loud. Were you scared, big bro? I was terrified, but not as bad as Shay. Hey, we can hang out with Nanako. That's great. That means we gotta go pick up the, um, whatchamacallit. What is this, Chariot? Temperance. Oh wait, I have Angel on me. We already got Justice. Fuck yeah. Hi, Nanako. You're the best. Um. Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything, since you have Angel. You should help out. You feel the relationship with Nanako isn't ready to advance yet. You spend time with her? Damn right I will. So with Nanako and Dojima, you're gonna need a lot of, uh, understanding and expression. Cause not only that they have a hard time limit, they also have fucking social requirements. Today's a Sunday, so you don't gotta go to school. Midterms will start tomorrow. Should you study today? Should I study? Should I study? That's a good question. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Would you mind hanging out with me for a while today? I need to get my mind off of studying for a bit. I'll... Think about it, Chie. Oh. Reason I want to think about it because we might be able to hang out with Murray. And honestly, I'd rather get the... Social links that have these hard-ass time limits out the way first. So we don't miss anything. Mm -mm -mm. But if I can't hang out with anybody, then I'll just, um, you know. I'll just stay inside and make some envelopes. Do some paper crane shit. Did I just choose Junez? Oh, okay. I thought I... See, Marie's available. That's nice. I thought I picked Junez for a moment. Um... Let me see. Office work material, off day. Alright, nothing important for me. Uh, we have Marie. I don't think- Oh! Almost fucking forgot, yes. Once you, um, once you meet the fox, for the first time, what you want to do is you want to instantly, when you can, head back over here. Uh, and accept Emma request. It does not pass time to accept the Emma request. Fox bought you Emma requests. I want things to go well with the person I like. So make sure you upset this, right? So the fox is very interesting. Um, what the fuck? Hosting a live chat. Okay, I don't care Twitter. <laughs> Some random person on Twitter is hosting a live chat. I was wondering why the fuck my phone was going off. It's like. This person's hosting a live chat. I'm like, cool. I don't follow that person. Who? Why? Why do I care? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, the uh, Fox's social links is very interesting. It works off of side quests. Right? And those side quests you can only do on, you know, regular days like this. If it's raining, you can't do them. But on raining days, you can hand in the side quests. And handing in the side quests actually takes time. So accepting them doesn't, but handing them in it. So what I recommend is you pick it up as early as you can, do them as early as you can, and then hand them in on rainy days, because you're not going to be able to do shit on rainy days anyways. And the fox uh, helps heal your uh, team and stuff like that. And the higher that social link is, the less money it costs. I'm going to go to the big city this time. I heard there's a bunch of things you can do there, so take me. The closest thing to the big city near Inaba is Okina. You decide to take Marie to Okina City. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Okina City in front of Okina Station. We brought Marie here by train to satisfy her curiosity. Oh. So this is the city. Hmm. Weird. It's a funny place, wide yet narrow. It's gray and full of squares. You calling me a square? <laughs> you saying I like dudes? <laughs> hey, what do you do in the city? I don't know. People watch? I see. Oh, so you brought me here to look at humans. Is that fun? But you're human, and I watch you all the time. I don't know whether to be happy about it or creeped out by it, Marie. Hmm? Oh, Yuku and Marie-chan. Huh? Is she your friend? Oh, that's right. You haven't met her before, huh? She's Marie-chan. I had lunch with her the other day. Look at this. We have blue, green, red, and I guess I'm black. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Yuko Amagi. She's our friend friend. Is she someone you know? And she must not be from around here, right? Did she come from the big city? Oh, I get it. So that's why you're here in Okina City. Huh. There's a did there's diddly squat to do around here. I mean, not around here. There's diddly squat to do where we live, right? Yeah, I know. And a red one today. What's green and red doing here? I don't know, blue. What are they doing here? Green and red. Green and red! <laughs> I was wearing green last time I saw you, wasn't I? I didn't say it was bad. You look good in those colors. <laughs> oh, thanks. I didn't think it was a compliment. <laughs> She's a nice girl, there's no doubt about that. But red girl's all red. Does green girl always wear the same thing all the time? Oh, Marie, let me tell you about something called anime, where no one ever changes their clothes. To the point as ever. But she's right. Nope. No, that's not what I meant. It's just... It's just a waste. Humans can change their clothes, right? You could try wearing other colors. Is that so? I don't really pick out my own outfits. Yukiko, how fucking old are you? I know. We're just on our way to get some new clothes. Why don't you come with us? You too, Marie-chan. Chie, they might already have plans of their own. Don't just assume they can come along with us at a moment's notice. I don't mind. Hey, man, you want to? Huh? I don't mind. Alright, let's get going. Okina Station? Ker... Ker... Kerko? Ker... Whatever. She and Yukiko are having fun while looking for clothes. Come on! Hey, how's this shirt? Do you think it's a good color? She is holding a green shirt. It's green. Yep, it is. Huh? Whoa, you're right. Why do I keep buying myself green clothes? Marie Chan, what's your favorite color? Don't tell me. It's blue, right? I don't really have one. Hey. What do you think of this skirt? Is it too mature for me? FBI, open up. <laughs> Don't ask questions like that, Yukiko. Not in America, at least. Yukiko has a crimson skirt in her hands. That's an eye-catching color. Yeah, eye-catchingly red. I see. So wearing a single color isn't in. <laughs> I like to keep things simple. Thank you. I'll try exploring. <laughs> I'll try exploring. Away with simplicity. Oh, well, okay. Oh. What about this? Does this say me? Green again? Hey. How about this one? Away with simplicity. There's too many colors. I'm getting dizzy. There's too many colors. There's only green and red. This skirt's cute. It go well with... Hmm, how's this? Chia selects a yellow skirt and a blue skirt. At least it's not green. Wait, but yellow and blue makes green, right? <laughs> you're right. Maybe some kind of instinct? You're not doing this on purpose? Oh god. 
What have we done? Jay and Yukio finish their shopping and return to the station with you. Are they only <laughs> are they only out of stuff in my size? Can't be helped. Let's go back sometime later. They might have some new inventory by then. Poor Yosuke, who's getting slapped that he was with them. He would. He would. She'd be like, how's this skirt? And then Yosuke would be like, I think it'll look good on you. What the hell was that for? <laughs> why don't we all go together then, the four of us? <sighs> of course, why not? Why? Hmm? Me too. Why? Huh? Why? Because we're friends. Really? Friends? We are? Since when? What? Didn't you have fun? Was I bothering you today? And last time too? No, you weren't bothering me. I was just asking about why you said friends. <laughs> Why'd you say friends? What is this friends <laughs> that you speak of? What does it mean to become friends? Marie has questions. Hmm. I don't really know the meaning of friendship. The meaning of friendship is to gain their powers and then defeat the big evil lord that's super evil like in every anime. At least that's what I was told. That's the power of friendship. You'll know once you have one. That's kind of... <laughs> You'll know once you have one. That's kind of like an ass backwards way of saying fuck you, right? Because everyone's like, we're friends, Marie. And she's like, what's a friend? And they're like, I don't know. And then you go, hey, maybe you'll find out when you get one. <laughs> There's meaning. Yes, I believe there is meaning. There are things you can't do for yourself. Hello, Yukiko. I'm not you. Thank you. I know how to cook. And wear my own clothes that I pick out for myself. Thank you. Things you can't do by yourself that you can do together with others. Like today, had us help choose our clothes. That's a you problem, Yukiko. I don't get it, after all. I almost forgot there's a DVD I wanted. Let's hurt. Aww. Aw, oh, Chie. Aw, oh, Chie, you poor soul. <laughs> DVDs. Remember when those used to be a thing? Now it's all Blu-rays. It's a kung fu movie, right? I doubt it'll sell out. Enough talk. Come on, everybody. Hustle. Yeah. DVDs are still around. Sometimes I'll pick up a DVD over a Blu-ray just because it's cheaper. I don't need it to be the highest quality. Me too? Yeah, it's gonna sell out. I don't want whatever it is. I'm not like... It's not like I don't want to go, though. Marie seems perplexed, but not against the idea. Hey. Hey, those two are Persona users, right? They'll chase after the truth with you? You can't do that on your own, but you can do it together. Because you're friends. I mean, if I had... If I had the Toby Hustle, I can do it on my own, trust me. All you need is Yoshisune. See, Maria has not heard of the SpongeBob and his friends. She doesn't remember her childhood. Hey, pick it up, you two. Come on, step it up. See ya. After looking around Okina City with everyone, you escort Marie back to the velvet room. Speaking of Spongebob, do you want to know something that I constantly think of in the back of my mind? It's the fucking, uh... It's the, uh... The short clip of Plankton. <laughs> Someone made. It's like the CG clip of Plankton, and he's like... He's like... He's like, now answer this, Krabs. If I back it up, is it fat enough? <laughs> and if I throw it back, is it fast enough? <laughs> Nautico seems to be lost in thought. Oh, what's wrong, Nanako? You ask her what's wrong. Um. Oh, well. Well. oh. Nanako fidgets. I made flowers at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. Oof. My teacher told us that's a day when you give your mom flowers. I don't have a mom, so. I don't know what to do with these flowers. Oh, Nanako, you do have a mother. Nanako seems upset. Give them to me! Give them to your dad. You can give them to her. Huh? Oh, you mean 
the family altar? Dad always puts food there. He said it gets to Mom in heaven. Do you think my flowers will get to her too? I did a really good job on mine. My teacher said they were pretty too. I wonder if my mom will be happy to get them. She'll be fucking ecstatic. Nako seems happy. You should make a flower too, big bro. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. Why not? I'll make a goddamn flower. Nanako taught you how to make an origami flower. We did it! You place the finished flowers on the family altar. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and head back to your room. Alright. Is tonight the, um... No, I don't think it's the, uh... Yeah, it's not. What can I do? Uh, yeah, I don't think we can hang out with Don. Oh, shit. I guess she- Oh, yeah, she went to sleep. That's what's going on. <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck did Nanako go? Dojima! Nanako's missing! Um, let's see the work benefits. Mega loads by diligence. Translation for expression. That's what I want to work on right now. You decided to work on translating. You had a hard time translating expressions in the foreign language. Your expression has increased. You encountered a sentence that seems to have been written for a child. Huh. Right as a child would. Writing the lines in child's speech pattern turns out to be pretty fun. Your place, uh, your place? Your pace has increased. Your pen won't stop moving. Got some money. Some of those dollar dollar bills. You know what I'm talking about. Your first term midterm begins today, continues to Thursday. You should hurry to school. Alright. Fucking midterms. I always hate midterms. Alright? In the game. Because, well, of course in real life too. But in the game. Because it just, you just watch the days go by and you're like, my social links. Exams are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. You study for them? Can't you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? But even once exams are over, we're not done with the case. All this depressing stuff's just gonna keep going on and on and on. Well, it sounds like you're royally fucked, Chie. Midterms, day one. What does it call when muscles grow? Overcompensation. Because you know all those muscle heads have to overcompensate for their tiny peepees. What is the year before 1 AD called? 1 BC. I think there's a, uh, I think I was on SoundCloud one day, right? Yes, I know SoundCloud. We all roll our eyes to it, <laughs> right? But I think someone put up like a, a mix of this song with Michael Jackson's Do You Remember? <laughs> and I was like, man, this is pretty good. Which of these numbers don't exist? Ah, oh, fuck. Marriage numbers? Yeah! Who translated I love you as the moon is beautiful? Oh, it's that person whose name I have a hard time saying. Hey. Who said as soon as La- oh, yeah, Pythagoras. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system? Olympus Mons. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm fucking awesome. It's the last day of exams. You are familiar with every question. You feel confident in your answers. You're damn right I do. Maybe I might, maybe I might top, you know, have the top score it's on the exams. Finally over. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Hey, quiet down. So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put her sorrowful expression. You sound pretentious as fuck, Yukiko. I'm sorry, but you really did. 
I wrote her sorrowful expression. My god, I hate you. <laughs> oh, crap. Then I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. You fat fuck. Rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? All right. I'm giving up on composition. I'm going to bet it all on geography. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Olympus Mons. Ah, seriously? I chose the wrong one. Oh, I put that one too. Whoa, you too? And it's probably the right answer. <sighs> Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. Jeez. Yeah, me too. I bet I got a good one. High five, Yosuke. Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but it's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Biker gang? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a I'm a bikey man from a biker gang. And my daddy used to fuck me whippity t. <laughs> you guys ever seen that video? Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I'm a bikey man from a bikey gang. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. I hear some guys at this school are part of it, too. Yeah, I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. One of the guys working at Junior Hellraiser. It's a good movie. He's been a legend ever since middle school. Although, was he in a biker gang? Did Did you say he was a legend? Wow, Yukiko, way to pick up on the not important parts. Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. Today was the final day of midterms. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. It's raining today. It's cloudy in the school. You guys gotta remind me to fucking do the Emma request because I keep forgetting about them. God damn it. So the first one. You want to head down here. Talk to this chick. Oh, uh, what? Oh, you're the transfer student. You. You. Oh. I must have made a mistake. This is in your shoe. This is your shoe box. Fuck. There's something in your shoe box. It's a note. Excuse me for writing this to you out of the blue. I held my emotions back all this time because I didn't want to disrupt your studies. Well, I am a bit of an expert. But I just had to tell you. I love you. It's a very moving love note. However, it's actually addressed to someone else. Apparently the girl put this in the wrong shoe box. Perhaps she's the one who wrote the Emma request. You should talk to her next time you see her. Uh, let me see. Does she actually show up in the same day? I don't think so. Uh, Yumi wants to hang out. That's cool. Uh, okay, so it's Thursday. I'm trying to think about my social links right now. What the hell can I do? How are we doing? With, uh, athletes and Yumi. Let's hang out with the Co. How's it going, Co? Hand to practice, right? You're damn right I am. Mm -mm. Love playing with these balls, man. You attend the basketball practice. Diligence has creed. You went to Cal, though, to Persistent. All right. Okay, the ball's been polished. The floor's been mopped. Let's grab some grub. I'm down for some Aya. How do you always pop up when we start talking about food? All right, let's get changed. Then head over to Aya. Whoa. Ah, damn it. I forgot. I can't. What? What are you arguing with yourself about? Sorry. Sorry. Just remember some personal stuff I gotta take care of. You two go on ahead. Sorry, guys. Uh... Today's the day he goes before the almighty house of Ijijo. Hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if... Herf? It wouldn't hurt if I hurt for her furf. Fuck. It wouldn't hurt if I told you. In fact, I could use your help. Sasuke looks serious. You had to- you had- God, I can't read. You had to Aya to listen to what Daisuke has to say. Is 
Central Shop District, Chinese Dina Aya. He is rocking a fucking Hitler stash. Motherfucker. Look at him. Is that Hitler? Is Hitler serving me ramen? So about Ko. That SK slowly begins to open up. I don't really like talking behind his back like this, but I want you to help him out. Just tell me how. Thanks, man. Thanks. It's about Ko's family. He lives by himself, but his parents... He lives by himself? That dude lives by himself and he doesn't talk to any of the girls in school? What the f... I'm gonna kick his ass when I see him! He lives by himself, but his parents play... Uh, but his parents' place is, like, right next door. Oh. Okay. Well, that puts a damper on things. Jesus. Once a week or so, he drops by there like he did today. His family is... What's the world I'm look? A world? What's the word I'm looking for? Distinguished? Very traditional. Very strict. You never know just by looking at them, though. The head of the Ijo family is Ko's grandma. They follow her orders like she's the law. Problem is, the old crone doesn't approve of him playing basketball. She calls it barbaric. Oh man, that sucks. It's just a sport, man. Hmm. Well, according to her, there are sports that are proper and those that aren't. He's been forced to quit a lot of things since he was a kid, but not basketball. He can't give this up. So, I want you to help him out. Oh, leave it to me. I got it. All right, I'm glad I came to you. Daske looks relieved. I'm glad I can rely on you. You just said that. You sense Daisuke's trust in you. After worrying about Ko with him, you feel your relationship with the pair has grown deeper. That's a lot of emotes. <laughs> but welcome back, Sumi. It's been a while. Fellow athlete social links have reached level 3. Oh, also, I feel like I gotta throw a reminder out there. Don't forget that follower emotes are now a thing. You guys can use emotes as you follow. Got a nice selection. A very small selection, but a nice one. This one's on me, so eat up. I used up my allowance. Hey, how about some Tsai Chi? Those are good. You talk with Daisuke for a while about school. You decide to go home after saying your goodbyes. You broke bitch. <laughs> Food's on me. Oh, I only got ten bucks. You're back. So you're home. I went shopping today at the fridge. Thank you, Nanako. Hey, can I have a word with you? No. You go to Juna's a lot. Very often, indeed. That ass of Dodger keeps vanishing every now and then. I figure he's probably slacking off around Juna's or getting his getting his taint licked. If you see him hanging around when you're at Junez, he's probably goofing off. So if you see a Dutch in Junez, tell him to fucking get back to work. Alright, next time you see a Dachi, tell him to be a Sniai itch. Alright, so Nanako made some food. <laughs> made some food? What the hell am I saying? She bought some food. Uh, we still can't go outside, and... <sighs> so making food, if you do it right, it can, you know... It gives you gives you a nice boost in whatever social um, social link you choose for those who hang around with you in the school. I'm gonna skip that right now because I want to focus more on our on our social stats. Now, who the fuck is calling me? Hello, it's Chie. You got plans tomorrow? Why don't we go into the TV? Fucking leave me alone, Chie. God damn it. Can't you see I'm trying to fucking translate some shit? So I have to work on translating. You had a hard time translating expression in foreign language. You have a hard time understanding a, a peculiar sentence. Skip it and come back later. Yeah, fuck. Fuck yes. <laughs> you continue reading even though you didn't understand what it was. You suddenly grasp the meaning through the context. You're in the groove now. Making some of that fucking money, eh? Class is in it for today. Alright. New day. That means we get to progress the Emma request. 
I always want to make sure we finish it by the end. Uh, by the end. I always want to make sure we finish it before the next rainy day. Girl that mistakenly put the love letter inside your shoebox. Did you read my letter? I have not read it. I see, thank goodness. Well, could you just forget about it then? I wrote it anonymously. Ano blah, 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 blah. Anonymous. Can't fucking read. Anonymously. Fuck, whatever. And yet this? What? You don't have anything else to say to me? Shh, go away. Um, did I fuck that up? Maybe I was supposed to tell her that I did read it. Ah, oh, shit. I think I gotta tell her that I did read it. I might have fucked that up. What was my last save point? <laughs> We're at 515 right now. 58. Fuck. Damn it. Alright. I fucked it up. Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's Friday. So that means we can hang out at ye good old fucking um whatchamacallit. Daycare. I fucking hate this social link. You helped at the daycare center. Once again, children are tugging at you. Understanding has increased. It takes forever to level this one up. Jesus fuck, at least you get money for it though. Young men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. What a bunch of fucking heartthrobs. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. That's hot. The hell are you punks doing here? That voice. This ain't a show. Get bent. <laughs> Get bent. Fucking Still love up it. to the same old tricks. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through work. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. Sounds like a badass. But I thought he got into a high school and started attending class. Huh. Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile shop. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. That's a good guy. It's a nice gesture, but he's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. I'll make sure to hang the laundry inside the house. That's cool, Nanako. Thanks for doing the laundry. Whoa! It started raining. I guess the weather report was right. That means the show's probably gonna be on tonight. I hope we don't see anyone. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Well, everyone? Don't forget to check your TV tonight. It's not like I have a choice, Chie. Got it. The game won't let me. Seems to be another rainy night. What will you see on the Midnight Channel tonight? Probably a person. If not, then there's no point to this game. Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. You're the best. I can't do shit. Maybe I can eat something in the fridge. Nothing catches my eye. Fuck. You know, they didn't have to skip my daytime. I could have had to Ayo, right? It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? A figure appeared. It seems to be a man. He looks like a high schooler. The image is unfocused, and it's hard to tell who it is. For some reason, it's telling you to get bent. What the fuck? <laughs> Should you try calling Yosuke? Sure, why not? Oh, it's you. I was just about to call your cell. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. 
hang up. I miss fucking flip phones. Jesus fuck. They used to be so fun. You're like, my call is done. Flip it over, put it in your pocket. You look stylish doing it. Hiya, Sean. How's it going? Now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here. It's pronounced Sean, right? Or Shaku? How do you want me to pronounce that? <laughs> Dude, take a breath. Yeah, Yosuke, lighten up. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. While I have all the people here, I should say something. Uh, so I'm pretty sure everyone knows Kanji Tatsumi is uh, Troy Baker, right? Just want to let everyone know. Did you know that Yosuke, Yoi Lonthal, is also Spider-Man in the PlayStation Spider-Man game? Just a little note for you. Special headquarters. Whenever I play Spider-Man, all I, I see is Yosuke. Nice ring to it. How I'm doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. Anyways, Somewhat great. What was on last night? <laughs> Besides uh, Windows Update fucking up my computer, I'm doing fine. Did you watch last night? I saw it too. I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? You told everyone that you saw someone who looked like a high schooler. So that's how I looked on TV. Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? Yes, yes they were. That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yeah. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. It was a great TV show. I wish I got to watch the ending of it. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean... he isn't inside the TV yet? If so, then... He stay. He stay. I mixed the word still and safe, and I said stay. Fucking fuck, man. He's safe for now. <laughs> uh huh. I think that's safe to assume. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Yeah. And if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. In the bargain? What? Is that how you use that word? But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct... Oh, Chia, you're thinking? Though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. Why the fuck are you talking like that? But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. That's exactly what we just said. Shut up! What the fuck, Chie? <laughs> You're so funny, Chie. Man, if you think that's funny, Yukiko, you should check out fucking Rick. Guess what? He was a pickle. Funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh no! My, my funny bone! <laughs> Not again. Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? See, now that's what you slap him for. By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. <laughs> <sighs> when are you gonna stop that, you crazy hyena? Jesus, you started barking at her like a fucking dog. <laughs> Such a great character trait. Her laughing fits. Isn't she amazing? Welcome back. <laughs> uh, it's raining. I can't do shit. Gotta watch the Midnight Channel. 
you know, at least at least they have an excuse for your character not to do shit at night, right? You gotta wait for the midnight channel. You don't want to miss it. Unlike a fucking cat telling me that I'm tired. Piece of shit. I throw that little fucker out the window. A figure appeared. The image is unfocused, but you feel like you've seen him before. Did you see that? Yeah, might be Kanji Tatsumi. Yeah, I think so too. I knew I saw him somewhere. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. Get bent. All right. So we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? Sure, I guess. It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. So, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? Uh, I have to be neutral in this. You told Yosuke that you don't have a particular preference in girls. Your understanding has increased. <laughs> Seriously? Well, you get a better chance that way. You told Yosuke that you'll stick your dick in anything, and your understanding has increased for that. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that, Yosuke. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? I love how Yosuke just goes, Hey man, it might be out of nowhere, but uh, you trying to fuck? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Chie, you live in a fucking small country town. Of course she knows him. Everybody knows him. Uh huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanjikun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. All right, then let's get going. I wouldn't want to run into him at a dark alley. Jesus, fuck you, eh? Goddamn. We're counting on you guys. Decided to go to Kanji Tatsumi's house to have a chat with them. Yuki-chan, it's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. Good day. What's up with him, weirdo? Huh? Never seen him before. What the fuck, Yosuke? The dude just fucking just nodded to you and you called him a weirdo for it? <laughs> what Yuki the fuck? Chan, you're as lovely as always. I do that to strangers all the time. I get a nod back too. You know what? General respect. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. That's fucking hot. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually. She said, damn, your features like your goddamn mother when she was younger. <laughs> Like what? Why? Why would you say that? It's not even like you look more like your mother when she was younger. It's your features. Like what the fuck? Scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV. Hey, can you can you scream it so those in the back can hear, Chie? Jesus, fuck. That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. 
Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamano? Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. I thought that was my doorbell for a fucking moment, but then I realized I don't have a fucking doorbell. <laughs> I went, who the fuck? <laughs> Wait a oh, minute. I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. I was trying to remember where I remembered the... I was trying to remember where I remembered. I was trying to remember where this voice was from that the... That um, Kanji's mom is doing. She's, um... I think she's the voice actor for Natsuki in uh, Persona 3. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. Persona uses a lot of the same voice actors. I'll come again, ma'am. You know how many times I've heard Yukari's voice? Jesus is fuck. That so? Well then, please say hello to your mother for me. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Hmm? It's Kanji-kun. Well, quick, hide! Nice hiding spot. I'm not fooling anyone, you know. Yeah, what the fuck? Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. You need to drop on Kanji's conversation with the boy. D tomorrow's with that boy. Fine with me. Huh? S school. Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. D did he did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? <laughs> nice hiding spot, losers. Fuck. That scared the hell out of me! He's even worse in person than on TV! I mean, it was a pretty natural reaction. You guys were kind of staring at him. The one on TV last night was definitely kanji -kun. Yeah. And I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman... And she knew Ms. Yamano, but it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Kanji's the target. Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Ms. Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again, instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm... Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? Sounds like a smart idea, Chie. We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Not really. Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. Oh my fucking god, I forgot Teddy existed. Jesus. Alright, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. Hmm. Heading out for tonight? Alright, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time for, uh... Hopefully I'll see you next time for, uh, whatchamacallit? Great Ace Attorney. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, 
Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no. <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? What the fuck, Yosuke? Really? You really sound like a pervert. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Way to fucking sidestep you. Jesus. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Decide to stake out Kanji in the textile shop tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Welcome home. Welcome back. Oh, I can't hang out with Nanako. Can I do anything tonight? Ah, oh, should return to your room. Rest early for tomorrow. Bunch of story bullshit I can't do. <laughs> can't do anything. Has the target arrived at school? Stop talking like that, Shie. Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Stop talking like that, Yosuke. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. You guys have a pretty shitty hiding spot. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. What in the world was that? A normal conversation? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them! Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that! How should we split the teams? I have to be neutral. I don't know. What if something happens and we're the only ones there? What about your kung fu moves, Chie? And then fucking Yukiko has a mean ass backhand. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Okay. All right. We'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go. Leave it to Chie, the loudest person in the known universe to fucking do the stalking. Guess I'm here with you, Yukiko. <laughs> um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. So... Shall we? We shall. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Thank you. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? No worries. I'll protect you, my lady. Unfortunately, you're too much of a little bitch boy. Do you think the culprit will come? Jesus. I doubt it. Our efforts might be fruitless. But maybe that's for the best. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. What? <laughs> Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> the same is true for me. 
listen. Listen, I'm neutral in it, right? But we all have to agree, out of all the girls in this game, Yukiko has to have the, like, horniest face in this goddamn game, right? You can sense Yukiko's affection. I art thou, thou am I. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas with the Priestess Arcana. Alright. Yuko's determination in battle has enhanced. She will now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. With the meanest slap known to mankind. We haven't yet asked for Yukiko's contact information. Huh? Uh, okay, if you want. I had enough courage for that, but I couldn't say that I was going to protect her. What the fuck? Can't always answer since I help out around the inn, but feel free to call any time. you damn right. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. I spoke with Yukiko about many different things. Man, this is weird. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them! I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Who told you that, Yosuke? No, he's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, Yosuke, way to, way to fucking keep it to yourself. Jesus, fuck. Now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? <laughs> I love how he just strolls up. He's like, damn it. Oh, well, you see, we're we're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. What the fuck, Chie? Way to put your fucking foot in your mouth. S strange? You saying I like dudes? <laughs> you keep your big mouth shut. Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! Say what you think. Uh, you, you got it all wrong. Hey, are you listening? Damn it! It seriously ain't like that. We regret to inform that our mission failed. Man, you guys suck. There was nowhere to hide. Well. Let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault, but... Damn it! Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? You saying I like dudes? <laughs> What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? You saying I like dudes? <laughs> God, I love that comic no, dub so no, much. No, I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! Oh, shit. <laughs> Yosuke, what the fuck? You ran away from Kaji as fast as your legs would carry you. Uh, oh, too much.
much running. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Oh, welcome home, big bro. I'm home, Nanako. It started raining. I hope you didn't get wet out there. Anything in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. Fuck. a lot of story going on. Jesus fuck, you're tired. You should rest in your room. Got no choice. Your phone's ringing. Hello? It's Yukiko. I'm sorry to call so late. Oh, I don't mind, Yukiko. Um, Kanjikun seems to be missing. Ah, fuck. Yep, he's definitely dead. I think so too. He could be. It's going to rain again tonight. Maybe the midnight channel will come on. Then we'll know for sure if something happened to Kanjikun or not. I'll make sure to check out the TV at midnight. Talk to you later. Later, Yukiko. Need to watch midnight channel. Still raining. Something may appear on TV. Turn on the TV and it's like the Spike channel. Tonight on Mansers. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, remember Mansers? Fucking dumbass show. The image is clear and sharp. Hello, dear viewers. It's time for Bad Bad Bathhouse. Um, hello, big boy. Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak-in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Woo! <laughs> well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! <laughs> Just stomping off. That was unmistakably kanji. Hey, what the? I mean... <laughs> Yosuke's too flustered to get his point across. Yosuke, your nose is bleeding. Calm down. It's a bathhouse. A superb site for those searching for sublime love? I just don't get it. I mean, in his direct words, it's a bad, bad bathhouse. Anyways, we better hurry and come up with a plan tomorrow. You decide to go to bed. Sounds like a plan. It's Wednesday. Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Hmm. At first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things, but when I gave it a try, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. Would that still go under the paranormal? No, right? No, no, it wouldn't. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night... If the paranormal is... Hold up, I have a question. If the paranormal happens to be true, does it automatically just turn into science? 
No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. Like, ghosts are considered paranormal, right? But if ghosts- if someone took a picture of a fucking ghost, or just brought one in the room and said, here's a ghost, is it still paranormal or does it go into science? What is it? But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Huh. Yukiko had a show too. But she doesn't remember doing anything like that. It was a pretty great show. Um, this might be a little off subject, but... Howdy, city papa. How's it going? The culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? Hope you have a lovely day. I hope you're having a lovely day. No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Oh, wait a sec. I bet he is enjoying it. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV! Ah, oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Just started work? Getting for... Getting for a persona. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm doing great. Uh, now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a... Oh, getting cozy for a persona. What the fuck am I... I'm sorry, I looked at the emo and I went, huh? <laughs> getting cozy for Brazil. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. See, now that's when you slap him, Yuki. Oh, eh, eh. Wait. So if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me too? Eh, uh, no, it kind of happened during the daytime. Oh, that is it. That killer is dead meat. I'm going to leave footprints all over his face. All right, say it louder so those in the back can hear it, Chie. Like, remember Persona 5, where you have Ryuji and he's all like, Man, we're the Phantom Thieves! And you're like, God damn it! Right? Chie's basically the same. Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Got it? You've all straightened your resolve to save Kanji. Some have straightened it more than others. Rank 3. The investigation team social link has reached rank 3. Full Arcana upgrade. <laughs> Chie, those last two were the same thing. Uh, I know. If you don't blink while looking at that, fucks your eyes up a little bit. <laughs> but for some reason, I keep doing it. Hey, Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. What the fuck is wrong with you? You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. Oh, that's fucked up, Yosuke. <laughs> You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this kanji person. We just did. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Uh, he's tall, has bleached hair, has kind of a scar on his forehead. Something about kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji Kun personally? Alright, Teddy may be able to grasp Kanji's location if he can get more information about Kanji. But what kind of information does he need? You decide to ask around town about Kanji. Time for Persona's 4 fucking dumbest shit that they ever put in this game. 
Instead of instantly going to the dungeon, we have to help Teddy out. Right? And it gets even worse later. Now, lucky for you guys, in the background I've been doing a New Game Plus run of this so we can have that, you know, that beautiful social link ending. But, uh, in every... In every investigation... Investigation? Yeah, I think. In every investigation, except for one maybe, you basically spend two days doing it. So for this one, talk to Kanji's mother. Ah, you're here to ask about Kanji too? Sheesh. I wonder where he wandered off to now. He's always like this. You know, there's a small boy who came in asking about him not too long ago. I talked to him too, but I haven't seen him around lately. Boy who asked for Kanji could be the small boy from before. If that was him, he was with Kanji and might know something. You decided to search for the boy. Now, the guy we're looking for will be at Junez, but we have to wait for a day to pass, so we talk to this person, right? Oh, you looking for a small boy wearing a hat? Ah, oh, yeah, I've seen him. He's been hanging around here lately, even asked all the stuff about the incident. He was just over there a little while ago, but maybe he'll be back tomorrow. We decide to return here tomorrow. That's all we can do for today. Uh, it is a school day. So we're gonna head to Yasugami High. Run up the steps. The steps to your dreams, baby. Alright. Talk to her now. Did I fuck this up? So you really did read it, right? Oh, you gotta tell her you read it. Okay, cool. How could you, you jerk? Every day is great at my Junaz. Only mine though. No one else's. I decided even even have the courage to sign it, and yet a total random person knows my secret. Oh, what the point of trying to be secretive anymore? I already embarrassed myself this much. Just might as well go confess. How'd you like that? Huh? Female student ran off. Maybe you should ask her about her confession. We'll do that tomorrow. I'm gonna hang out with Ko. A hero. I love playing with these balls. You attend basketball practice. Diligence increase. Huh? The others already left? Exactly why this team is... Uh, whatever. Hey, good news, you're getting a team manager. Now you guys won't have to take turns doing all the work anymore. You can thank me later. Go on, introduce yourself. I, Ebihara. I has to be... One of the best social links in this fucking game. <laughs> Great, you can take it from here. I'm going home. Let me tell you guys straight up, I ain't lifting a finger for this fucking team. I wouldn't be caught dead watching out for a bunch of sweaty guys. Uh, then why did you... I miss too many days of school, but they'll let me move up if I manage a team. But don't expect me to put any effort into it, for the most part. I'm even gonna... I'm not even gonna be here. Goodbye. See you, bitches. Yeah, that's about what I expected when I saw I here. So much for having a manager. All right. Anyways, I'm hungry. Let's grab some food. Man, this place been calling to me in my dreams ever since I had to bail on you guys last time. I just love putting that meat in my mouth after playing with a couple of balls. You know what I mean? How'd it go? What, the dream? Oh, you mean with my family? Well, it's complicated. As Avril Levine said, why'd everything gotta be so complicated? Daske told you all about it, right? My family's pretty interesting. Arranged marriages for political gain are pretty standard with us. Just the other day, I was greeting people at one of those high society gatherings. Can you imagine me at one of those things? Eh, nah, it's kind of hard to imagine. Seriously, I have to laugh at myself sometimes. Anyways, if you ever run into anyone in my family, don't tell them I eat here or talk like this. At home, it's nothing but studying, tea ceremonies, and lessons. To them, I'm the prime and proper Kosama. Kosama? Yep, that's what they call me. I know it sounds crappy, but hey, 
They feed me and give me an allowance. I need to do my part too, you know? I don't know, man. Eh, it doesn't matter. It might all be over soon anyways. We're old-fashioned family, so the Ichijo name has been passed down from generation to generation. But the last male of the family, my dad, didn't have any kids to pass the name to. Well, they weren't going to just let Ichijo name just up and die, so they adopted me. And then what do you know, my dad ended up having a kid after all. A girl. I guess you could say she's a little sister to me. I mean, isn't that exactly what a little sister is? <laughs> Her name's Sachiko. You sure she ain't gonna fucking start turning into the grudge and shit? <laughs> Her name's Sachiko. She's almost two, and she's all, she's really cute, you know? Go tries to sound cheerful. That's good for you, man. Isn't it? It's better this way. Becoming the successor would be a major hassle. And really, it should go to a blood relative. Sorry. Didn't mean to put a damper on the mood. Come on, let's eat. Huh. Yeah. Your heart-to-heart -heart talk with the players showed you Dice Gang Co.'s trust. Level 4. The athletes have reached level 4. Your power to create strength arcana has grown. Just forget I said any of that stuff. Oh man. Did I tell you guys about the one in a million shot I made? You talk about practice with Dice Gang Co. After saying goodbye, you decided to go home. Did I tell you guys about how I polished these balls the other day? Welcome back. Hi, Nanako. Can I hang out with you? Yeah, I totally can. Um... Trying to remember... Ah, fuck. You guys gotta remind me to go hang out with Adachi from time to time. Shit. Um... I do this when I think. Um, yeah. Let's hang out with Nanako. So, uh... Big bro. Yes. Yes, Nanako. Nanako's fidgeting. Go ahead and ask. What's wrong? Um. Nanako looks embarrassed. Are you an only child? Now, I feel like this choice shouldn't really matter, but it does. You gotta say that's right. Jesus. <laughs> it doesn't matter too much, but it matters on how much, uh, you know, social points you get. Oh, but I have you now, so, uh... A while ago, Daddy told me that our family won't get any bigger. <laughs> but now I have a big brother. Now oh, that's nice. Nanako beams at you with a smile that covers her entire face. Though, through the smile, you feel a relationship has grown deeper. That was a weird way to up your social link. Hey, hey, big bro, what? You an only child? Yeah, kind of. Social link up. <laughs> like, what? Let's talk, big bro. I want to hear about your school. Nanako has begged you to talk to her. You decided to talk about various things. Getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your room. You're cool, Nanako. You're the best. Oh my god, I'm not sure if I said it already, like in any of the other parts of this playthrough, but holy fuck! Persona 4 Ult Ultimax is getting re released! Grr. In like two months! Fucking love that game! It's my favorite fighting game! Love it! I still play it! According to the weather report, According to that motherfucker weather report. We won't have to worry about the fog for a while. Let's keep cool, like usual. We can save the day and still keep our skills sharp. Love it too. It was... <laughs> but you were bad at it. Aww. It is a little confusing, right? Because... It's... When you call out your persona in that game, it's not, like, instantaneous like your other attacks. There's a delay to it, depending on who you're using and stuff like that. I think that's the main thing that fucks me up in that game, is that slight delay. So then you make up with that by just playing as fucking Akihiko. <laughs> My two mains in that game, Akihiko and fucking Yosuke. Mainly Yosuke because I love doing that fucking moonsault shit. It's great. 
Let's keep cool like usual. We can save the day. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan, man. Yep. It's not gonna do anyone good if we get anxious. Let's be sure to use the time we have until the next foggy day to our advantage. So we can save him. Sorry, I had a hiccup. So we can save him for sure. I just hope that it has rollback. Really fucking hope it has rollback. Oh my god. Oh my god, please give that game rollback. Fun thing about that game, too, is that if you play as Junpei, you can see exactly what the fuck they did for, uh, Gotenks and DB DBFC. Because I remember playing as Gotenks for the first time, I'm like, it's just Junpei! It's fucking Junpei again! Except without the frame- the frame-perfect baseball shit. Hey, everyone. They posted the test results. <sighs> the awful moment of truth. Oh, well, wanna check it out? You decided to check out the results. You damn right I do. Enjoy Chie for the kick. Chie's fucking god hand shit is fucking stupid. <laughs> god damn it. Top 10. Yeah, baby. Wow, nice going, you. You're so smart. Now everyone will suck you off. <laughs> Lunch break is almost over. Chie does have some fun combos, though. You're talking about her fucking, uh... You're talking about her fucking Liu Kang as as bicycle kick. Hey. Hi, Yumi. Have practice today. Sometimes they'll invite- Why are you giving me a tutorial for this now if this has been happening the whole entire time? Fuck you. I'll decide later. I wish I played as Ken more in that game, though. Only for the sole fact that Koromaru's the best. Hey, you going to practice? I might. So usually when, uh... When the people show up and walk up to you, right? That means that they're ready to advance their next... To their next level. Alright. School day. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, hey. The confession? It worked. I can't believe it, I'm so happy. I'm glad I got his shoebox confused with yours. Oh, that's right. I need to give thanks at that Tetsumi Shrine. My wish came true. I'll make a big old offering. You accomplished the result written on the em- Result? What the hell did I say? You accomplished the request written on the Emma. Cool. Now, if you're on New Game Plus, I highly recommend that you, uh, that you wait for rainy days to hand in the Emma request. You have more than enough time to do this shit. Um, but we have to continue the investigation. Head to, not the shopping district. Why the fuck? Why did I do that? Uh, yeah. All this menu shit confuses me from time to time. Is there something you need? Many people from the town come and meet here. It's a very convenient location, isn't it? Wasn't this the boy that met with Kanji some time ago? You may know something about Kanji. You're asking if anything seems strange when I spoke to Kanji? Very well. Seems to be an urgent matter, so I'll simply tell you. If you're asking about recent events, then yes, there's something out of the ordinary. It was something I felt when I was with him, so I told him outright that he seemed to be an odd person. After I said that, his expression changed all of a sudden. I was quite surprised. On that basis, I believe his actions were somewhat forced and unnatural throughout the time I was with him. He may have some sort of complex, though. I have no proof of this. Hmm. Kanji's, Kanji's purported actions uh, to the phrase... Wait, what? Purported? That's how you say that word? <laughs> Maybe this is enough of a clue for Teddy. You saying I like dudes? So, once you hear that nice little jingle, that means you got all the information you need. You can now head into the, uh, the TV world and go straight to the dungeon. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do two things. Well, first of all, I want to head to the velvet room because I want to see if something's available for me. Yes! Something's different from usual. You don't see Igor or Marie anywhere. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Do you have any business here? Well, of course I do. It's just me and you. Why, my, don't mind if I get a little comfortable. Mm, 
As you can see, my master is currently away. If your errand isn't urgent, I regret to ask that you come back late. No, that won't do. You're damn right it won't. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Damn, Margaret, you get a fucking manicure? You got some nice ass nails. I never noticed that before. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I am Margaret. I am the one who rules over power, invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residents are selected by my master, based on the number of guests and their destiny. Shall we chat? Of course we shall. I feel that is what I'm called to do. A faint smile appeared on Margaret's face. Her eyes have a hint of gentleness in them, unlike her normal gaze. It's a fucking cougar alert! You feel a faint bond formed between you and Margaret. Thou I am thou, thou sadness brings truth, something, something. God damn it, I didn't get to read it. Because <laughs> I pressed the X button by accident. You have established the uh, Margaret social link of the Imprint's Arcana. You have the XP bonus. Cool. It seems you have several social links already. Recurring meetings, recurring words made by deep... Wait, what? Recurring meetings, recurring words. By deepening your understandings of one another, your bonds strengthen. But sometimes the heart is shaken more, uh, more by a single action than a thousand words. Do you understand? Somewhat. Hmm. It's kind of like how she's saying, "Hey, remember, remember, remember! At any moment, you can fuck it all up and reverse an arcana." <laughs> if you if you manage to reverse an arcana in Persona, you're fucked. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's really hard to do that. I think I've only done it once by mistake, cause I, cause I was just choosing options without looking at them. Uh, today's meeting might be classified. Uh, wait, what? Might be classified as that single action. I decided. The strands of fate you follow entangle me within it as well. Perhaps a new bond will be spun. There's something I, I wanted to add. Wait, what? There's something I wanted to know. You're the first guest I welcome, dear. And lines up today. Wait, what? Something I have wanted to know, and you are the first guest I welcome, dear. I actually never paid attention to that. I'm the first. Huh. Okay. That's a nice little tidbit. I believe we are both special to one another. Margaret is smiling. I want to know more about you. First, I think I shall have you show me your rare persona ability. Let me see. Show me... Oh god, I can't even say these fucking names. Epon Zatara. <laughs> I fucking butchered that shit. That knows Sukukaja. The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Haven't you already... Uh, haven't you? Have you already forgotten? Then I have something to look forward to. I wish you well. This is both... One of the easiest and yet one of the most hardest fucking social links to get up in this goddamn game. Unless you pull up a guide and you know what personas to fuse. Or if you find some skill cards and just slap it on that persona. So, the Empress Arcana levels up different from the rest of them. Uh, basically, Margaret's gonna ask you to show her a persona. They never change. They're all the same in every playthrough. Um, so once you have them, I, I highly suggest that you put them in your compendium and you, um... You keep him there for your new game plus, right? But yeah, she's gonna ask for a persona with a certain move. You make it, you show it to her, and then that's good. The only thing stopping you from doing that is, well, on your first playthrough, is the amount of money you have and your level. But when you do new game plus, you can just fuse all the fuck you want, and no one can stop you. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Uh, I think we need to head back in. Yes, because every time you hang out with Marie, to the velvet room. she has a poem for us. So every time you hang out with Marie, you want to make sure to walk back into the velvet room. Something's different. Marie's nowhere to be found. 
If you're looking for Maria, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. Where'd you send her? Oh, please, don't be concerned. This errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. I would never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Oh. And what is it? She must have dropped it. <laughs> it seems the piece of paper belongs to Marie. You notice something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Huh. Wait, no! Marie frantically snatches the paper away from you. The fuck, you growling at me? What is this? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Did you look? Huh? Show it to me. Huh? Show you. Stupid pervert, stupid pervert sleazeball, I hate you. Why would I show it to you? This isn't meant for you to see. Marie's blushing furiously. Just, just forget this happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep, sleep. You didn't see anything. Now wake up. <laughs> That's quite an interesting reaction. Is what it's on, uh, is what on the paper really that embarrassing? Did they just- I'm sorry. Hold up. I got a question. Did it just skip the fucking poem? Because I didn't impress anything. Wasn't I supposed to be able to see that poem? Am I crazy? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Welcome my butt. That was close. Mary returns to her seat and fidgets restlessly. I didn't press any buttons. Besides like, you know, the advanced text. Right? I thought I was supposed to see that. Damn it. I think that might have been the first one though. I'm gonna run back in. Alright, cool. Probably the next day. It'll move on. Um, so with that out of the way... Want to head to... Oh, I have money. Money I have. Money is a thing that I have on me right now. We're going to head into the dungeon. But first... First, I need to buy armor for myself. Because for some reason, I didn't buy myself armor. Probably one of the reasons I was getting fucked up. When fighting uh, Yukiko's shit. This is a new sword. 10,000. Uh, Yosuke, what do you got? Nothing, nothing. God damn it, this shit is expensive. Now I don't have enough for my sword. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Armor, accessories, expendables. Uh, I'm gonna need every one of these because it's not New Game Plus. Jesus fuck. Doing it naturally. Natural playthrough. God damn it. Alright. Uh. Is that. This is where I started the, uh. This is the ones for the playthrough, right? I think so. Alright. So, I'm gonna put a save point there. Because I'm not 100% sure if I want to actually run around the dungeon, right? So if I want to run that back, I'll run it back. Whoa, something's here! A, a fox? When did it... The mysterious fox you encounter at the shrine is sitting next to you. Could I have followed you without you noticing? Whoa, where did this guy come from? Dude, it looks scary too. Oh, this apron. I think I've seen it at the shrine before. You told everyone about the encounter you had with the mysterious fox. Huh? Curious with leaves? Huh? Cooperate with us? Are you serious? So he wants money in exchange for fixing us up? Yep. The fox gave a cry of affirmation. What's with this guy? It acts like it understands what we're talking about. It yipped again. Maybe it really does understand what we're saying. I love how they're like, it yipped. Meanwhile, it's doing a full-ass howl. But, but when you think about it, that means the police on duty and whatnot didn't find this fox, right? If it followed after us, then it really is something. The fox gave a confident cry. Huh? You think it really understands us? 
What should we do? It's a cool ass animal. Throw it in the TV. Bad if we trapped it. It doesn't look like it'll do us any harm. What do you think? I'll let it help. It's a cool fox. Yeah. And thinking about what happened at the shrine. Do you not see the fox's battle scars? Don't you think this curing would be a big help for us? Huh? Are you suggesting we take it into that other world? Hmm. Fuck yeah. Mm, I guess that might work. It doesn't seem like it's going to leave that easily either. And I definitely don't want it being all sulky and getting up to mischief in the store. Start pissing on everything. It's like, what is this? Is this fucking fox piss? Ah, oh, damn it. Decide to let the fox do whatever it wants. You should try taking it into the other world. Just grab it by its collar and throw it in the fucking TV. <laughs> so the fox is an illegitimate member of the investigation team. I wish it was Koromaru, but it's not. Yeah, let's go. All right. Sorry, I was taking a yawn. I was taking a yawn. Yep, that's exactly what I said. Sensei, you're here. Any clues? Oh, you found some. So, Fox is in here. It's here to heal you. For a price. Right? Um, this is why you want to do the Emma Quest. Besides just filling out the social link stuff, this is why you want to do the Emma Quest. Maybe on your first playthrough, you want to do those a little bit faster than usual. Because having... Having... You don't really get healed, per se, the healing you do by yourself, but it restores your SP, so you can use that to heal. And, you know, the more you do, it's a request and stuff, the bigger discount you get. And it'll follow you in here, however it seems, no mind, strange atmosphere. What's with that weird thing, red apron? Sensei's helper. Amazing Sensei, you know some neat people. Nice to meet you, Mr. Fox. Let's both do our best. Axe for heals. You don't need healing right now. Oh, go fuck yourself. Doesn't seem to be upset. Give you a soul drop. Sorry, I was listening to the music. Alright, cool. Um, I want to see if I head into here. Because we do need a new persona. That's for fucking sure. What can we fuse? We are level 10. Uh, nullify to electricity. That's going to be a big help. And this is the one we need to teach Tsuka Kaja to. Uh, Titan 14. Strong against electricity. I'll think about it. Right? We'll think about it. Uh, as for right now, our strongest. Yeah, our strongest should be Valkyrie, right? Check Compendium, I don't need to register anything. Utilize skill cards, buy skill cards, I don't have any. Alright, cool. I don't know what the check on Dweller shit is about, I've never done it, never cared for it. All I know is it's not fucking The Lost from P3 Portable, and that's all that matters. Because The Lost was the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> fucking hated it. Make sure you rescue the loss! Why would I do that? Why do I want to waste my time with that? Oh, well, if you don't, then you'll lose a social link. What? <laughs> what are you saying to me? Oh, you found out more about Kanji! Uh-huh. A complex. Um... That's it? That's all I have to go on? You're working me to the stuffing! Oh, well. Then I'll open my nose up real wide and sniff real hard! Hmm... Said like half of rule 34. Oh, I think I found something. It feels like our target. Is this it? Follow me. Seeing Teddy's pupils dilate all the time just makes me think he's constantly high. It's awfully muggy. Muggy. Is it just me, or does the fog here seem kind of different? I think you mean steamy. My glasses are fogging up. Ooh, you seem hot and bothered over there, Yukiko. Man, it's hot in here. This place is like a... Come here, pussycat. <laughs> oh, such well-defined pecs. 
There's no need to be scared. Uh... Now just relax. Wait a sec. I don't want to go. You got no choice, big boy. Is Kanji Kun really here, Teddy? The nose knows. He's like, I can smell the really ball sweat from here. here. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I can already feel the sweat rolling down my back. That's because it's so hot. And you guys are wearing fucking coats and shit. All right. Kanji's location has been pinpointed. All there's left to do is rescue him. You should prepare yourself for the rescue mission. All right. Equipment. Actually, I want to see. Do I have my... Oh, well, I only have my winter clothes. God damn, I was going to put my summer clothes on because it's hot and steamy. All right. Um... Actually, I want to see wristwatch. Oh, she has a volt suppressor. Yeah, and then nothing else. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Teddy, you got anything for me? All right, fuck you. All right, time to get into it. Jesus. Last time we had to do Yukiko's uh, stuff like two days. I'm gonna try and do it in one day. Let's see. We also have a, uh, we also have a couple of, um, whatchamacallit. We had a couple of minutes left, so if I'm wearing a fucking jersey, ah, oh, I keep pressing that damn button. I hate that button. I don't know why, it does nothing but help me, but I hate it. I don't wanna wear my jersey, fuck you. I'll wear my Yasuo outfit. Now, I actually really do like the music in here. <laughs> it's a simple loop, but I like it. Alright. So, nothing too crazy in this dungeon. Kind of the same as the first one. Run around. Do shit. Stuff like that. Hmm. Panicked. I'm trying to remember what you guys are weak to. I think they're weak to... I think they're weak to fire, actually, right? And I think Garu is a... Did I just... Fuck, I clicked guard. Wait, who am I? Valkyrie. Kate Sith, what do you have? You have Zeo? Nice. I'm taking it. Three enemies. Let's get through this. I think you're weak to electricity. I don't remember. Nope. Yuki-chan seriously out to lunch. Come on. Someone's weak to Blizzard. Quite beat it. I think the Cupid looking motherfucker's weak to Blizzard. And I think the rocks are weak Yo, to fire. Oh my. Do something. My fucking fuck. So persistent. Three enemies left. God damn it, Yosuke. Then you are weak to win. Go, Sensei. Hey, you knocked it down. I'm getting it confused with Persona Q. That's what it is. I think they're weak to electricity and Persona Q. Fuck it up, Chie. I forgot you have a resistance to physical. I mean, it is. I mean, it is a fucking rock. To be fair. Yukiko, you've been making some good decisions. Uh, I might as well just use Garu, fuck it. I was gonna hit it with my sword. Alright. <laughs> Yosuke, today is just not your day, huh? He just instantly got fucked. Alright, well... Sorry, Yosuke. My bad. I'll make better choices next time. I didn't want to open the chest, but okay. Chie, I think this is all you. That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. I'm just gonna hit it. That's some thick skin. Three enemies left. It's over. There. 
You fucking missed. You got a Chie, right? Here's our chance. Let's go. Fuck it up. Good job. Shuffle time. Okay, what we got? The XP. A part of me wants to go for money so that I can, you know, um, what's the word? So I can pay the fox to heal me when I get fucked up. I'm gonna go for the XP. I am not looking forward to the uh, mini boss of this place. I'm trying to remember what the mini boss even is. Is it a is it a muscly guy? Is it one of those? All right, these guys. But I'm sure you'll win. I think they're weak to fire. Yeah, they are. Oh, nice job, girls. Be gone. You know, out of the combination attacks, I mostly see Chie and Yukiko do it, honestly. I know Yosuke and uh, Teddy can do it. I'm not sure if Kanji and Naoto can do it. If they do, I'd never seen it. <laughs> But I saw Yosuke and Teddy do it once. What is it called? The Juness special or something like that? It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Uh are you guys Okay, I thought they were resistant to physical, honestly. That's some thick skin. Two enemies. Charge I guess I'm thinking about a different dungeon. Two enemies dead. Uh -huh. Eco is pretty good in this game. <laughs> See, there they fucking go again. This shit. This is it. How's that? You felt surge. Nice. I'll take the level up. Ain't gonna see me complaining about it. Soul drop. Nice. I usually ignore the chest. Because I'm usually doing New Game Plus, but now I actually gotta pick up this shit. Uh... Ow. Let's get rid of you guys. Let's just be thankful that they can't petrify you in this game. Petrify has to be one of the worst status effects in any fucking RPG ever. I think you're weak to electricity, though. Let me see. Nope, you're probably weak to Garu as well. Someone else's turn. Oh. Three enemies. Let's get through this. Interesting. Uh oh, Yuki Chan's showing no mercy. I'll save your Blizzard. Uh, who's weaker? Someone finish it off. <laughs> oh, my health is super low. I just realized that. Nice job, Chie. Honestly, Chie, you probably just saved my life. <laughs> Level 6. Half money, avoid encounters, devil. Eh, avoid encounters is the only good one. Alright, let's remedy this shit. Start drinking down some fucking cough syrup. Uh, we haven't come across this kanji -kun yet. Oh, hey, Sensei. Can I ask you something? Why is it so steamy in here? Does that have something to do with kanji? I don't really get it. Do you know what it is, Sensei? I, I think I get it. <laughs> ah, that's my Sensei. Is there anything you don't know? The warmth of a woman's touch? 
dude? Maybe. That's a strong enemy. Mm. Get Don't get hurt as I start dying. Sensei, mind your health, okay? Mind your manners. Heal me up, man. That's not Just enough. That's not enough to heal me up. I'm actually really scared. <laughs> this guy can kill me in one shot. I think it has counter too, right? Resistance. Oh, you're dead, Chie. Goodbye. Really hurting. Heal her. Wait, didn't I use fucking? This one's tough. Hang in there. Oh, are you weak to ice? Man, fuck healing Chie. Heal me. <laughs> what? Just one enemy left. Uh, Agi. So persistent. Chie Chan's really hurting. Heal her. Oh, we're time. fucked. Nice job, cool, Yosuke. Yosuke. <laughs> level up. <laughs> I leveled up. You learned Skullcracker. Great. Means you're even doubly useless to me. <laughs> uh, Alright, I got it. I got it, Teddy, okay? We got it. We got it. Why did I go to status? What's wrong with me? Skills. Uh, you can go. Go rub Chie's back. I am under level this fuck for this area. <laughs> Damn it. Uh oh, this one's really strong. Oh. Yuki-chan, this doesn't look good. Oh right. no. <laughs> Damn it. What were you weak to again? <laughs> it looks okay, it is win. Okay. I'm used to like having the icon tell me it's weak. Um, I'll just double down on that. That was a good one, Sensei. Nice recovery, Yosuke. Just, honestly, just get rid of it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna waste it. I couldn't do it. Three enemies left. Gotta play cautiously. It's been a while since I had to do this shit. Oh my fucking god! Is there any, at any point, can you hit an attack, Chie? My God! I'll just punch it in the face. Two enemies left. Someone else's turn. Chie never fails to fucking disappoint me. All she does is miss. That must have been something they put in Golden. Because people tell me Chie is fucking great. And I'm like, what are you talking about? All she does is fucking miss. They must be talking about Persona Vanilla, right? P4 Vanilla. She's so fucking useless in this okay, game. Except for like, what, Rising Dragon? Fucking damn it. Uh, actually, Yosuke, you do it. It seems strong. Oh, come on! I'm sure, you'll win. What the fuck? Sensei! How dare you! Oh, Sensei's back on his feet. Damn right, I'm back on my feet. Sensei! 
say? You knocked it down! Nice. That was a good Can one, Sensei! Stand? Oh. Just giving me a heart attack the whole entire time. Well, maybe you'd be able to defeat it if you fucking hit it. it. Jesus. Good job, Chie. Got me holding my breath the whole entire time. Gotta find some of those golden chests around. Speaking about golden chests, what the fuck did I pick up from that other one? Disinfected reduces chance of poison. I will take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. I'll send a SOS. Actually, I'll actually do it now. Hey, golden chest. Chewing soul. I will take that. Thank you. Yukiko, this is all you. This is all you, Yukiko. Someone else's turn. Somehow... Make this make sense for me. Somehow, Chie, the character whose main... whose main focus of attacking is kicking the shit out of them. It's the slowest on the team. Make that make sense for me. Three enemies oh, right. Be gone. That's some thick skin. It's time, Chie. Coming. Be gone. So it can't be a coincidence that their personas is just the fucking pink ranger and the yellow ranger, right? Like, come on! Uh, money. Hmm. Arcana change. I'll take money. Gonna need it. Their personas is literally just the pink ranger and the pink and the fucking yellow ranger. Something on this floor, be careful. Oh, is it the mini boss? We're looking good. Not for the mini boss though, but we're looking we're looking nice. Mmm. This one's really strong. I don't like this. Go, Sensei! You knocked it down! If they even get one turn, we're fucking dead. <laughs> You're awesome, Sensei. Go, go, go. This is the death room. You hit its weakness. That's how Smart it's done. Move, Sensei. Just pick him off. Go, Sensei. You knocked it down. It's down. Let's attack with all our strength. Let's see if it'll be enough. Ah, uh, Yosuke! Wow, you only attack- It's an area of effect move, but you only attack three of them? Alright. Oh no, you got all five? Cool. Whew. Good job. Way to give me a heart attack, guys. Uh, I will do that. Actually, that had no use for me. If I'm constantly changing my persona, it has no use. Why did I do that? Oh, no? Uh, am I gonna have to fight something? What is, what floor is this? The third floor? Oh, yeah. 
Oh no. I'm scared. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to fight something. How many go homes do I have? Three? I can use it. I can use a go home. Turn to the entrance. Let's at least save the game before I f get fucked. How much are you charging me? You seem... Oh god. <laughs> I'm too broke for it. Jesus. Too broke to get healed. That's amazing. Take me back to the search for kanji, man. Brand new glasses per Yuki's request. Fuck you. <laughs> Funniest things I've ever seen in my life. These fucking glasses. God. I'm just having- I'm having flashbacks to being in school listening to fucking backside of TV. <gasps> Get over here, you little bastard! Mmm! Fuck it up. Oh. Oh, we're gonna have to punch it. Oh no. Someone get a critical, please. Come on. Oh, come on. Someone get a critical, please. Damn it! Going down. I couldn't do it. I couldn't quite beat it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yosuke's completely out of it. Yosuke, come on. Just one I, enemy left. I just need a critical. Oh my god, Chie, why? Man, you must really hate Chie. Jesus, fuck. Damn it! Great work. Great work, my ass. Fucking bullshit. I'm not strong enough. There he is. Kanji. Oh, my, my, thank you for your undivided attention. At last, I've penetrated the facility. <laughs> These images are coming to you live from inside this steamy paradise. But I've yet to have any charming encounters. Could this hot fog be the cause? It's like steam rising from sweat. Mm, my body's tingling with excitement. Men only, Kanji Tetsumi and Rosie Steamy Paradise. This is so wrong in so many ways. It's so wrong that it's so right. I remember it being kind of like this on Yukiko's show too. That was hot. No, it wasn't like this. Those voices again. Wait, are they louder this time? These voices. I was wondering whose they could be since it's only the victim in here. Is it the people watching outside? You mean everybody who's watching the Midnight Channel? They're reacting to the show? Yikes! If people are watching Kanji Kun now, he's gonna be a legend in a way he never intended. Well, it's really his shadow, not him. But normal people won't know that. The shadows are getting really restless. That elusive thing I truly yearn for. Will I finally find it here? <laughs> well then, onward and deeper to reach further realms <laughs> Let's get going, damn it! Oh my god. Kanji-kun! That was his other self. It's trying to reveal his hidden feelings. It seems much worse than that time with Yuki-chan's shadow. At this rate, it might end up getting bare naked. <laughs> bare naked? Oh man, here it comes. Um, was I supposed to laugh? Oof. 
fail. Poor Teddy. Alright. I'm happy I didn't have to fight anything, because I thought I would. Now, I think the bathhouse has a total of seven floors. So, we got four more to go. I think it has a total of seven, maybe eight. Maybe nine. I could be wrong. On multiple levels. Oh! It seems strong. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. We're not gonna win this. All confused. We're not gonna win this. You have, you have no weakness besides, like, darkness or some bullshit. Oh. You. Well, you better. Oh, wait. Haha! -ha! Oh, it's 24? Jesus, that's a lot. Get us the fuck out of here, Yosuke. God damn it, 24. I didn't. Oof. That was like 15 or something. Fuck. I chose to avoid this. I should actually open it. Uh oh. Might have been a bad choice. Doors locked. Oh fuck. Oh no. That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. All right. Yosuke's completely out of it. Snap him out of it, Yukiko. You can do it. Oh, come on. That's why you fucking missed. <laughs> How dare you raise your hand at me. Chie, it's all you. a dealt card, but you get one more. Oh. I want the recovery and the fucking... Oh. Yes! Oh, wait. I thought it gives me a chance for two of them. Shit. Never mind. Fuck it. Ah, experience. Cool. You leveled up. I leveled up. Oh, two more for Mabufu. Thank you. Mabufu. I love it. What's this way? A chest. Three more go homes? I'll take it. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Mm. Oh, hello. Seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Oof. Ow. That hurt. Badly. Don't remember what you're weak to. Just one enemy left. This thing is totally gonna kill me, right? So persistent. Nice. If you're gonna attack somebody, attack Yosuke. <laughs> no! If you're gonna attack somebody, attack Yosuke. Sure thing. Oh, then it's Garu. Uh, even if even if I do fix it, she's not she's not gonna survive another attack. So. Jay, make yourself useful. Nice job. You bastard. XP, money, XP. 
I leveled up. Oh, you learned media. Thank fucking God. Oh, you can kill. You're the best. Whew. It gives me less of a heart attack. Uh, which way am I going? I'm gonna SOS, by the way. Even though it doesn't fucking help me. It's this way. Uh, oh, other way. Hello? It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Someone else's turn. Uh-oh, Yuki-chan's showing no mercy. Let's go, Tomoe! It's down! A girl. Good move, Chie-chan! All right. We get him, Chie. Keep it up, Chie -chan. You got one more, Chie. Don't fuck it up. It's down. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Give it up. All right. Shuffle time. Uh, magic up. Not really gonna do much for me. Oh, growth one. Fuck yeah. Learn to grow for one. That's very useful. Ha ha! Huzzah! Ah, a man can't back down at a time like this. Just watch, and I'll show you how manly Kanji Tatsumi can be. Woof. Woof. What's up? Uh, nothing. I actually want to save my game because, uh, because Yukiko just learned media. I don't want to fucking die and fuck it up. Now listen, Fox, you know that shit ain't fair. <laughs> You're fucked up, dude. You're fucked up. I can't pay that. <laughs> He's like, oh, you want to heal? <laughs> Give me double what you got. Asshole. Um. Actually. Use personas. Let's see what we got. We are level 12, so we can make you. Little flight to electricity, weakness to wind. So far, no one's been using wind on us. Arm chopper. Zeo. Who am I using to make you? Uh, you would get Bufu, but. Flying Pixie Bell. Kate says Pixie. Chariot. I mean, it would know. It can learn two. So it would have the benefit of the- Oh, I can't even learn Garu and Zio. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it, I want something that I can use, uh, Kate Sith for, because Kate Sith has a pretty good move pool right now. Kate Sith. Media at level 10. Hmm. It would know Bufu, Zio, and Garu, but not Growth. Alright. Um. Register you, because you're beautiful. Oh. Alright. 
What did I say? Oh wait, it would give me... <laughs> I'm getting Valkyrie out of it. I would have to get rid of this Valkyrie. Um, actually, let me see. Weak to electric. Oh, that's not going to be good. Strength, though. Oh, it's temperance. My bad. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. You, I'm nowhere near as strong to use that yet. Alright, well, I guess I'll save it for now. Mm -hmm. Alright. Teddy, take us back. Gotta be cautious. Alright. Oh, shit. I moved the camera the wrong way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might have fucked us. Uh. It's gonna be a big fight. Ah, oh, come on. Uh oh, this one's really strong. Hey, tell me something I don't know. Maka jam. That's not really gonna help. Someone else's turn. Three enemies. Let's get through this. So persistent. Uh, I want to know if I want to get rid of the muscle man first or these two. Damn it! It might have counter, I don't want to hit it. Ah, fuck it. Alright, let's see. I think this one might have counter on it, too. I'm not sure. I'm gonna guard. On the off chance that it would kill me. Just one enemy left! Counting on you! Persona! Someone else's turn. Persona! So persistent! GA? Nah, just kick it in the face. Ooh! It's down. Let's do it. Fuck it up. Oh, come on. Uh, we're dead. Oh, gee, John, that was beautiful. That's fucking. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I hate this game. This game is designed to fuck me over. Oh my god. Is that lava? Or is that just Sensei, are you blowing water? No, I'm not okay, Teddy. I almost died. Jesus, man. I'm on the ground bleeding. He's like, Sensei, you alright? Mind your own business. Get away from me. Oh shit. I'm just trying to find the patch's way now. Oh, I can't fight it. It's a rare shadow, I can't fight it. You know how that makes me feel? It makes me feel pathetic. A man's got this thing called pride. I'll never lose. And it's not good. The steam's getting worse. Can't tell where Kanji is at this rate. Maybe it's already time for me to retire from being a guide. Teddy. Oh yeah. There's two of them. A rare monster. Beat the stuffing out of it. All right. Well, that's that. Someone else's turn. Yeah. Your chance to run. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> that's definitely not happening. Go home. Thanks. Excuse me, coming through, evil monster.
Oh, it's a red one. Ooh. It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. I'm scared of it. Not going down. Two enemies left. Yukiko. It's over. Oh, I can't defeat it. Oh. Woohoo, Chichan. That's one. Damn it. Sensei, Sensei. Motherfucker. <laughs> Good thing I just saved the game, huh? Ugh. I need to stretch. Hey, Captain Clown, how's it going? I'll tell you what's up. Just got my ass handed to me by a bunch of hands. Start from that floor? Yes. I forgot that you can restart from the floor. I'm used to, uh, I haven't gamed over in so long that I'm used to, uh, Persona 4 Vanilla, where, like, you know, you game over and it's just, like, back to your, back to your last, um, whatchamacallit. Dungeon in my own, I'm on Kanji's. That's a strong enemy. Don't yes. Get hurt. Uh, this is a different Persona than before, a uh, Persona, what the hell am I saying? A different Shadow. Go, Sensei! You're doing well. You knocked it down! There we go. It's not hard mode or anything. It's just a regular playthrough. You know, without a uh, new game plus. Oh, you what the fuck? Resist an all out attack? Come on, that's cheating. <laughs> what the fuck, man? They're gonna kill me. I'm dead. That's it, Yosuke. One enemy down. Come on, Yosuke. Two enemies left. Yosuke, you have one job, man. Just beat Kanji's the other day, a solid seven hours of fighting the boss to try and beat him. Ready? Ready? Seven hours? Seven hours? Wait, hold up. What the fuck just happened? Did it just resist an all-out attack, but when Kie kicked- When Kie, wow. When Chie kicked it in the face, fucking- it just, it just went, yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> what was that about? But you resist an all-out attack. All right. But physical is full game. No, okay, no, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, but seven hours on the Kanji boss? What happened? Was it hard mode? Or was it your first playthrough? Uh... There you go, Yukiko. Get one of me. Soul drop. I'll give that to Chie. Uh, fuck. You're in my way, man. First playthrough. Oh, okay. That's a strong enemy. You must have went hurt. in. You must have went in low level. I'm not gonna lie. Kanji is uh, if Yukiko is not giving people a hard time, it's either Kanji or um, or another boss that's like way later into the game. Actually, you know what? There's like four bosses I can think of that might give people a hard time. Um, shit, this one can use, uh, whatchamacallit, Mudo and shit. Some thick skin. Two enemies left. So Wait, you was above level? Then what happened? <laughs> then what happened? Get on your first try or your 10,000. Oh, fuck. Well, get rid of this guy. Aw, oh, damn it! Yosuke pounded an enemy! So persistent. Guess we use physical attacks on you, because magic doesn't matter. You did it, Sensei! Hey, level 13. I'm not looking forward to the Kanji boss. <laughs> Got to get rid of what are they called? Nice guy and tough guy. I pressed the button to attack it. A rare monster. Beat the stuffing out of it. I pressed the button to attack it, and I forgot that button's on a fucking delay. 
and then my file didn't save. Oh no. Oh no, that's the worst. I think the only time on a game that I ever gave up on like a boss was uh, Magic Mirror. Cool. I think the only time I ever gave up on a boss was uh, was Final Fantasy 13, and that was that was like way before I was you know I was just kind of playing the game, and I think I fucked it up because uh, you know it was my first playthrough. I didn't beat Final Fantasy 13 by the way. Um, it's my first playthrough, and there's a moment where they're like, okay. Now your characters can do any job they want. So I started leveling up characters in other jobs, right? Only to find out later that, hey, guess what? There's no point in leveling up characters in their other jobs because they suck doing their other jobs. So just stick with the main one. But by the time I realized that shit, fucking, um, it was already too late and I was stuck on the Dahaka boss or whatever the fuck it's called. The goddamn flying bird thing on top of the tower. And then, uh,. I spent like 30 minutes fighting it, almost got it killed, and then fucking lightning died and the game went, Oh, your leader died, I guess it's over! And I was like, come on. Meanwhile, Snow at full health is just sitting there on his sentinel shit being useless. <laughs> hey there, cutie pie. You trying to break the barrier of the acceptable, of the acceptable just like me? No, Sensei. <laughs> no, Sensei came to rescue Kanji. Oh, does that mean you're yearning for me? Is that so? Hmm, make me so happy. Well then, I simply must prepare some spec- something spectacular for you. I'm so looking forward to seeing you too. Well, toodaloo. Sensei, this little bear's getting too scared to go on. <laughs> Kaji, I like your dungeon theme, it's great. Let's see. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> What level was I in my party for that? I honestly don't remember. I think it was around the level you were supposed to be, but the problem was that I was like... I forgot who I had with me. I was using Lightning. I think I was using Lightning, Vanille, and Snow. And the problem was that I started leveling up uh, them and other fucking... I started leveling up their other stuff. Meanwhile, it's like, nope, don't do that. I fucking Shadow jumped out of a box. That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. That's a they were we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Look out, Chi-Chan. Your defense is down. Oh, come on. I don't have a fucking smoke bomb or some shit. Wake up, Yosuke. Wake up. Oh, there. Now's your chance to run. <laughs> Leave Yosuke for dead. Hey, how in this game if you die, you can't do anything because they're leader. Yeah. It's so dumb. It's like, guys, common sense, fucking give me a goddamn... Give me a god... Like, put a fucking revival beat in my mouth or something. I don't know. It's so dumb. I hate when... I hate when RPGs do that. Your leader died. At least Xenoblade doesn't do that, right? You play Xenoblade, and then, like, if you die, or whoever you have as the leader, right? The character, if they have uh, enough stuff in the party gauge, the character That's runs up to you and picks you up. Don't get hurt. Xenoblade is great. <laughs> I love Xenoblade. Uh, you need to get Xenoblade one if you like it too. Xenoblade one. Charge through them. It's over. Xenoblade one is a very long game. It's a very impressive game. I don't know why it took Nintendo so long to fucking localize the game, and when they did it, it was limited copies for the Wii, right? Making it a pretty, a pretty uncommon get. Like, I remember, um, I think, what was it called? Operation Rainfall or some shit? Was like, a petition to get Xenoblade, Pandora's Tower, and I think the last story? I think that was the petition to get those games in the West, and they all came over. Xenoblade did gangbusters, for as much as it could. It was fucking great. For a Wii game, the world was big and expansive, barely had any load times. 
I remember being, uh, at the time I didn't really like MMOs, so I remember the gameplay style not really, f you know, meshing well with me. But after playing it for a while, I was like, wait a minute, this game is great. The music's great, the environments are beautiful for, for as far as the Wii can go. The story's phenomenal. It's a great-ass game. Characters are amazing. Even when the characters are at their worst, they're still pretty good. Oh, he missed and I missed? Oh shit, I'm out of here. Yeah, that's what you heard. Like, I don't want to overhype the game. Like, this one's really strong. I don't want to undertale the game, right? You know? Go like, you need to play this game. Like, Ooh, you're not interested, you're not interested, one. but it's so good. And then Xenoblade Chronicles X. I have a Wii U. I'm one of the few people who bought a Wii U. I still have it. Um, That's why I can play fucking Twilight Princess and Wind Waker wherever the fuck I want. <laughs> but, um... The, uh, what's call it? On the Wii U, they got Xenoblade Chronicles X. I never finished it, right? But as far as I got with that game, that game was so fun. And the only reason I stopped playing it is because hooking up my Wii U for, like, one game was so fucking just <laughs> not worth my time. At some point, I'm definitely going to go back and play that game. Maybe one of these days I'll stream it. There's a lot of games I want to stream. But I can't stream Xenoblade Chronicles... Actually... I think Xenoblade Chronicles X has nothing to do with Xenoblade 1 or 2. Hmm. Let's see. I actually despise Undertale fans. Everyone despises Undertale fans. And what what the fuck is the new game, by the way? That that's kinda like the same environment as the Undertale fan base? What is it? Amore or some shit? I think that's what it's called. I remember seeing, like, some post somewhere of someone just- I think it was, like, Reddit or some shit. Um, someone just going, like, man, I'm tired of, like, these un- uh, not Undertale. He's, they were like, I'm tired of people who are fan bases of, uh, of, uh, like, Earthbound-like games constantly telling me I need to play something. And then I remember looking down and, like, one of the first comics was someone going, like, Shut the fuck up, Amore's the best. And then the guy replied and he's like, What the fuck is Amore? <laughs> like, it got that bad. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> this place is heating up for the sudden entry of a fine young man. Ooh. The celebrity, uh, to celebrity this encounter, I prepared a special stage tonight. A single match with no time limit. Who will be left standing in the end? Now, pour out your hot blood and guts. Huh. Don't lose, Sensei. I don't know. It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Oh, go fuck yourself. No, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. One enemy! Fight! 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 How long does Maka Jam last for? It silences a foe, but it doesn't last for that long. Silence means you can still use, like, your... They can still use their abilities, right? What the hell? Oh, go, f not working? go fuck yourself! It's over. So persistent. Yeah. Been playing Yakuza 0 a long time. Yakuza 0 is so... Well, <clears throat> damn it, how do I say it? It's... Most Yakuza games are good, maybe except for 5 and Dead Souls, but, um, Yakuza 0, everything in that game is good, except for Kazuya. <laughs> Not Kazuya, what am I saying? I'm um, Kiryu. Kazuya. Except for Kiryu. He's so fucking boring in that game. The whole entire time I play that game, I'm like, alright, whatever, back to Majima, come on. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna Rakunda his ass. Excellent game. I love Yakuza. At some point, I do want to do streams of the Yakuza game, but... <sighs> Yakuza's weird, because it... How do I explain it? Fucking... It's not going down. I feel like you gotta have some... You gotta have... What's the word I'm looking for? Damn it. So persistent. Like... Oh, I'm fine with Kiryu in the game. Here's the thing. Kiryu in that game is fine. Because that dude has so much... 
<laughs> he's so into it that he almost killed himself jump kicking someone out of a fucking window. But his story, his story is so boring compared to everything that happens to Majima. To the point where I'm like, I don't care, Kiryu. Go back to Majima. He's having a great time. Chie super dead, by the way. But yeah, Yakuza is a type of game series where like... You gotta be a type of person to give it like a good call it try to get into it. I don't think you can like walk up to someone who's like... I like Far Cry and fucking... Well, like the average person who's like, I like Far Cry and shit and go like, what about Yakuza? And they go, what is this shit? What are they saying? I'm not reading all this. <laughs> why is this guy telling... Why is this kid telling me to go get a game that was stolen from him? <laughs> and then this other grown-ass man stole a game from a kid and this other grown-ass man stole a game from a grown-ass man? Totally Dragon Quest. Yeah, more like a story game with- yeah, it's just... <laughs> it's a Japanese drama in which half of the time someone's just like, Are you a secret Korean? <laughs> secret Koreans. That guy was secretly a Korean the whole time, oh no. Then you get to fucking Yakuza 4 and it's like, That guy's Chinese. We don't talk to him. I don't believe him. It's like... I couldn't do it. Yakuza is great and stupid and amazing all at once. Uh, I can make Rakunda last longer. Oh my fuck it! I'm just doing this. That man is gearing up for something. What are you doing? He's just intimidating me. Someone else's turn. Man, I gotta say. Uh, I'm not a guy who cries a lot, right? But the- but when I got to the ending of Yakuza 7, I started fucking tearing up. Grown-ass man in my room just crying. <laughs> I'm like- I'm like, it's so beautiful. Uh... I don't want to use the Revival Bees, but I have to. Honestly, I could've- I could've let Chie just stay dead. <laughs> Customer is king. Yes, they are. Man, speaking of Yakuza- is it Yakuza 0? No, it's not Yakuza 0. I'm thinking of Kiwami 2. Where there's the, uh... Where there's the Hostess Club minigame. I kept playing that shit all the way to the end. That shit was great. Start dressing up all the girls and shit like that, and I was like, you gotta make money. Gotta make money. How much we make tonight? Five million? That's chump change. We gotta do better. I can't defeat it. Yakuza is great. Yakuza is amazing. Oh no, 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 no. All Yosuke has a physical tax. It's not going down. Oh shit. I'm gonna guard. I couldn't do it. That guy can just hit me once and fuck my day up. Skullcracker? Fuck it, you're gonna die from a hit anyways, Chie, so who cares? Mmm, you you're worthless to me! I can't do shit. Yosuke's dead now. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, how much health you got left? Yeah, this should be good. Finish it, GA. God damn it. If this man turns around on me and hits me once and I die, it's your fault. Oh, fucking hell. Tad bit under level. I know I'm under level. 
You can tell I'm under level because Yukiko is like five levels ahead of us. Have I gotten a little stronger? See, look, she's level 17. <laughs> uh, Hulk Hogan looking ass, exactly. I knew you would win. Bathhouse key. Nice. Now you. You're hurt. Get some help. Fun thing about this bathhouse key that we just got. Funny thing, right? It's fucking hilarious. It's gonna make you laugh. So on the third floor, there's a door that's locked, and the bathhouse key opens it. You would think that you would get something for it. No, it's just a shortcut to the stairs, which you don't need. <laughs> it's a shortcut in which the game already shortcuts you by fucking uh. By letting you, um, whatchamacallit, just instantly go up to the floor that you left up at. You never knew that. Yeah, if you, on the third floor, there's a door that's locked, and it's fuck, it's the most biggest fuck you ever, because there's a dungeon later in which you do need to actually head back down the dungeon, back down, I guess technically up, but, you know, you need to head to the previous floors to actually progress. So me thinking that, I was like, wait a minute, then there must be something in there. Nope, it's not. It's just a big old fuck you. Big old middle finger. What level am I? I'm still level 12? I'm level 14. What can we get here? 17, so three more levels for that. 14, Titan. Mazio, Skullcracker. Strong against electricity. You would learn Petra Dia Bufu. But you wouldn't learn Gara. What about the other one? This one have you learn. Damn it, I wish I can just teach you Garu. Fuck. Alright, whatever. I'll take it. Skullcracker, Dakunda. What's Dakunda again? Oh, nullify stats on eh, it doesn't matter. Skullcracker. Chance of panic, so... Yeah, okay. And it, and it learns dodge ice. Uh... What's your... Endurance is 10. Rakunda, of course. On one ally. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on that. Um, deal would be fine. Pain of corrupted files and game blockers in the PS1 are stuck with me. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man. man, you don't know how many times I fucking sit here. On like a daily basis, and I'm like, I wish I had more time to stream, right, throughout the week. Because there's so many things I want to get through, like, I would love to get through all the Final Fantasies, I would love to get through Xenoblade and shit like that. There's some games on, on the side, like, I haven't played 13 Sentinels because I want to stream it, and I had that game since it fucking came out. Right? It hurts, it hurts on the inside. <laughs> oh, Jack Frost. It's a pretty good one. It's pretty good. Jack Frost is a pretty good early persona to get. Uh, all right. Let's see, utilize cards. No, I'm good. You sure you can't touch me up? You're such an asshole. I can't pay for that. <laughs> He's all like, uh-uh. No healing for you. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Yukiko. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, we don't have any soul drops or anything like that. Cough drops. 10 SP. 5, 5. Alright. Fucking fuck. Titan's already selected. Alright. Oh, 
them out. Thanks for the follow. It took me it took me a while to look at it. <laughs> Fucking um what is it? The way I have, like, the stream set up, because the game, by default, is pretty fucking loud, and it overpowers everything else, that... that when the alerts come in, I can barely hear them. Because if I'm gonna up the volume for the alerts, then it's gonna up it on the stream, and then it might fuck up the audio levels, and all this other bullshit. Alright. Oh my god, we have no SP. <laughs> Shit! Oh god. Oh shit. I think I can keep going this way, right? I'm just gonna have to run past them. Cause we're pretty close to Kanji. Yeah, this loops around. Goes in here. This is the boss fight, and I think we keep going. Mm. Uh oh, <laughs> fires follow sound alert. Yep. I love me some Mega Man. Mega Man is probably a game series in which I love, but I fucking suck at. Like, I love Mega Man X, I really do. But I fucking suck at those games. Like, I'm really bad. Like, like, I'm gonna fall in a pit every time- Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Especially on fucking Storm Eagle stage, where it starts with them going like... First of all, Storm Eagle has nice fucking music. And then it starts with, like, these enemies that just pick you up and drop you right in a pit. No! Damn it! They ain't important to to a man's man. That's not what I want to become. That ain't it at all. Hey, Sensei. The world you came from seems really complicated. Ever since I met you, I really had to think hard about stuff like what I am. So I can kind of understand how Kanji feels. Sensei, we gotta save Kanji, dude. Don't worry, we're at Kanji already. This is the last floor. Oh. I thought, I don't know what the, I don't know where the hell my mind went, I thought that if I... Is this the, oh no, the ninth floor's the last floor, fuck! We're definitely gonna run in there under level as fuck though. Oh shit! If only I had the Toby Hustle. Do I have a gold key on me? Fuck, I don't. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. The game's constantly taunting me. It's like, do you want these? Look at this! It's like, what about these rare shadows, man? You want these? I can't beat them. They're too strong. They're gonna run away from me. Either that or they'll kill me. One of those. One of the two. Ah, uh, great place, wonderful here. Something feels wrong. Really? There's ten floors? I thought thought there was only nine. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it. Oh no! Fuck, we're dead. Goodbye, guys. That's a strong enemy! Don't get hurt! Yosuke's hurt! Someone do something! Man, this game really hates you, Yosuke. Oh, gee, Chan, that was beautiful! Okay, I'll look for an opening for you. You better. Be patient! I need to find an opening first! <laughs> Yuki Chan's hurt! Hurry and heal her! Fuck you, Teddy! Come Yuki on, man! Yuki Chan's really hurting! Heal her! Are you okay, Sensei? Someone heal him! No, Sensei! Sensei, get up! You're the worst, Teddy. Jesus fuck. Oh man. Same from top to bottom is organized though, right? Oh, I'm just doing that to uh I'm doing that to cycle it just in case something happens. You know, and I need to go back for something or some bullshit. I don't know. It's kind of a 
it's like a leftover habit I have from like recording shit for the channel. Where um where it's like, what if this didn't record properly? Right? So then you uh rotate those saves, god damn it! Uh, really like Mega Man, but I love the Zero games. I never played the Zero games. What is it called? Zero EX? I looked away from the screen for one fucking second. Are you kidding me? Just made a beeline for me, huh? Really? My dick that big and delicious for you. On my fucking back. Uh... Time playing this game, you have learned how to know when to find the stairs to the dungeon. Yup. Sometimes you see, it's not Persona 5 where you're like, I love this dungeon, I can go through it forever, right? Because they, you know, design it. And especially if you play this game after playing Persona 3, and you dealt and you dealt with the bullshit that is known as Tartarus. Fuck and fuck, man. You get to the point where you're like, I'm sick and tired of running through hallways. Hey. I can hear Kanji's voice. Alrighty, I'm gonna get myself pumped up. Look for Kanji. Here it goes. Well, this feeling, I think I've made a comeback. Kanji's not far from here. Positively, I'm positive he's really close by. Because he's right through that door. Should be through that door, right? Kanji, how many fucking floors is your shit? Does Kanji have the most floors? I didn't think Kanji's shit went into double digits. Motherfucker. I remembered it being like nine floors or something like that. Or eight floors. I didn't remember it being this long. Fucking what the hell, man. You're lucky your music is great, Kanji. You know what? Maybe it's the fact that I do New Game Plus that I just breeze through it. It's probably what it is. Found the steps. You're damn right we did. Let's see. Here we go. This is Kanji's room. It's very steamy up here. Fucking fuck. <laughs> Whew. Mega Man Zero One through Four and Mega Man ZX and Mega Man ZX Advent. Ooh. Damn it. Is Mega Man um command mission worth going through? Cause I hear a lot of people like it, right? Shopping district, uh I'm trying to see. The 18th, uh, okay, um, where was I? I'm gonna resave after this. Don't know, never heard of Command Mission? It's a RPG. <laughs> it's a Mega Man RPG. It's literally, it's literally Persona Mega Man, I don't know what else to tell you. Besides without the social links and stuff, it's turn-based. But it's not .exe. Or, or what is it called, Command Battle or whatever the fuck that other one is, Mega Man Battle Network? I think that's RPG as well. I don't know. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Let's see, breadcrumbs... Uh, Alright. 25 health. Corn post is cracker. There you go. Salt Neo. SP. I don't think Chie would really need SP, really. Yosuke can use some, that's for fucking sure. I didn't mean to give it to myself. I fucked up on that one. Steak skewer, 50 HP. All right, that's all I can do. Maybe we'll be able to do it, maybe we won't. Who knows, fucking fuck. <laughs> Excited for Ultimax to come out on Steam. Yeah, I saw somebody losing their shit because they were like, come on, what the fuck is with this? Put Golden on the PS4, which I mean, yeah, that would be cool. But it's like, they like, put Golden on the PS4, why is it only come to Steam? And I'm sitting there looking at the trailer, as I'm reading the comment, I'm like, but it says it's also come to PS4, do you not see that? <laughs> it's like, but who cares about Ultimax? It's like, a lot of people care about Ultimax, it's pretty fucking good! It's so good! It's too goddamn good for its own right! Don't worry, don't worry. By the time Ultimax- hopefully by the time Ultimax comes out, we'll be done with this. 
We're definitely gonna stream some Ultimax at some point. Fuck yeah. It's all canon, baby. We're gonna stream all the Persona games at some point. That means 1, 2, Q. I never played Q2. I think that's the only one I haven't played, really. Besides uh, dancing, um, dancing 5 and Dancing 3, because there's really no reason to stream those games. There's no story in it. Open the doors? Yes. Clap me up in some Ultimax. Yeah, okay. There they are. Yeah, okay. Hey, guess what? Using Shadow Mitsuru and her fucking and her fucking like her infinite loop bullshit don't count. <laughs> I remember fighting somebody who tried to use it on me, and I just went, "What the fuck are you doing?" Because I was playing as Akihiko, and I clapped the shit out of that guy. Kanji. I saved the recording too. I think I still have it on my PS3 somewhere. Didn't even know about that. Yeah, Shadow Mitsuru. It's a thing where the shadow characters, they don't get access to the, um, to the ultimate, ultimate. They don't get access to the instant kills and the fucking, um, they don't get access to the instant kills. And I think there's something else about them. I think they have a shorter SP gauge, but they're constantly in awakening. And then people with Mitsuru fucking do like a, a corner infinite loop or whatever where she does like her stabs and shit and freezes you and some bullshit. Then she does the kick or whatever, you know. Someone tried to pull that shit on me and I went, what are you doing? <laughs> Clap that motherfucker. None of that shit in here. Oh, come now. I played it twice on Parsec. Right. Isn't it awful to deceive people? To deceive yourself? But you don't have a you don't have a PlayStation. Yeah, no, I played it on PS3. Um, I think the but I think at the time with PS3 and 360, I think 360 was the place people went to for mostly fighting games. But since you know Persona's at the time, at the time Persona, um, at the time fucking Persona wasn't as big as it was. It was still kind of niche, not completely niche because Golden came out around that time. Um. But it was still kind of niche to where, like, you know, mostly Japanese players were on, right? So, having a PlayStation really helped out with that, because in Japan, they're like, what the fuck is an Xbox? <laughs> What's so bad about doing what I want to do? And that has nothing to do with it. I'm what you really want, aren't I? Hell no! Man, Kanchi, you got a flat ass. Oh, how I hate girls. So arrogant and self-centered. They cry if you get angry, they gossip behind your back, they spread nasty lies, they look at me like some, some disgusting thing, and say that I'm a weirdo, laughing at me all the while. You like to sew? What a queer. Painting is so not you. But you're a guy. You don't act like a guy. Why aren't you manly? What does it mean to be a guy? What does it mean to be manly? Girls are so scary. I ain't scared of them! Men are much better. They'd never say those awful, degrading things. Yes, I vastly prefer men. <laughs> Gotta get going right before I see you get your ass kicked. Sad day, but I'll see you later. Uh, good night or good evening. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I might- I probably will get my ass kicked, but I might. Listen, I might be able to do it. I've done it before. You know? Might get lucky. With that. What makes you think you can say that shit with my face? Why, you're me. And I'm you. you oh shit. No, no, uh, I didn't mean to skip no that. Way. There's no way in hell that you're me. <laughs> you're me, and there's no denying it. Now. Here's the thing I really like about Shadow Kanji, is that, uh, <laughs> in the Persona anime, Persona 4 anime, not golden anime, I think it's Persona, I think it's Persona 4 vanilla anime it happens, when they do the fight with Kanji Shadow, uh, nice guy and tough guy, they have abilities that affect only the women and the guys of the group, where the guys get poisoned and the women get enraged. The, uh, explanation they had for that in the anime was that, <laughs> um, when they do that, in order for the girls to get mad, nice guy and tough guy make fun of them about like how they're just uh, how they're just like little girls or some shit like that. And then with the guys, they start playing a little bit of grab ass. <laughs> Everyone, 
on guard. He's great. I love that they did that. That was amazing. All right. So nice guy is going to heal him. Tough guy is going to buff him. The true self. I'm just being true to myself. And that's why I'll get rid of anything in my way. Are these Kanji Kun's true feelings? Listen, I don't know. This isn't really him. It's just his emotions going haywire. This has nothing to do with you guys anymore. Didn't I just say I'm gonna get rid of you? I don't know how this is gonna play out. But fuck. Oh man, we don't even have enough SP for this shit. Alright, um... I know one of them is weak to fire, I don't remember what the other one's weak to. You weak to win? No. You resist win. One of you motherfuckers is weak to fire. Great. Uh... What do you do, block it? That's fine. I think you might actually be weak to... Electricity or something? Oh shit, tough guy's the one that's weak to fire, not nice guy. God damn it. That means we're gonna have to go for nice guy first. Yep, the guys are poisoned. I resisted it, but I still got poisoned. Grrr. Yosuke's all poisoned. Yeah, I know. I can see that. Yeah, I know you absorb it. That's okay. Uh... It's over. Oh, what? Hmm. I'm so handling this poorly. Yosuke, watch out. Damn it! Someone do something. Oh come on! Now Yukiko's useless. Are you okay, Sensei? Someone oh, yeah. heal him! Oh yeah, I'll get my ass handed to me. Okay, so you are weak to that. Cool. Tell me I'm doing well. All right. This is just a test run. Doesn't matter if I win or not. Oh, that's only for one person? I thought that was for the whole team. Shit. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, yeah. If only, if only I can pay off the fox, right? Get my SP back. We would totally have this in the bag. No problem. I'm the only one here. Come on. <laughs> I would have expected me to die already. That's not going to hurt me. I'm not a girl. But tough guy's going to fuck me up, that's for sure. Tough guy is posing. Oh my god. Don't tell me I'm about to take out a nice guy by myself. Don't let that happen. There we go. Alright. Hmm. I don't want to spend two days on this. I really don't. But I might have to. Because we definitely, we can definitely take him out. After seeing what the fuck just happened, we can definitely take him out. Um, let's give it another good old try. 
Let's give it the college try. Yeah, we got this. There they are. Let's give the good old college try. First one was a test run. Second one's gonna be the actual try. And then I'm gonna see if I can maybe pay the fox somehow. Give it a cookie. I am a shadow. Alright. Uh Partner. All right, what we got here? Well, since we're not going to be able to do any all-out attacks on them, might as well just have them stunned. Oh, you can't stun them. Shit. Well, get the damage in regardless. Uh, Sukukaja, Maka Jam, Maka Jam. Would you block this? Yes. All right. Good job. He gets dizzy. Um, skull cracker. There's no reason for doing that. I had to think for a moment. Gonna get poisoned. It's fine. Oof. Tough guy's dizzy. That's cool. Hurry and get rid of that poison. How about you fucking bite me, Chi? Uh, I was about to say Chie. Bite me, Teddy. Keep it up. Yosuke's all poisoned. Yeah. Um I highly doubt that work for you, but it might. Yeah, okay, blocks. Cool. Um It's ten medias. I'll just go for Augie. For now. White wall. Fucking fuck. Alright. That's fine. Man, you must really hate Yukiko. White wall's up. Mazio's not really gonna help. Dakunda. Oh man. It's over. There. Not bad, Yukiko. Going it's for the over. second Agi. Have you had a commission for a bit? Yeah, I know, motherfucker. <laughs> the women are pissed. That's okay. Go hit fucking nice guy. That's, uh, that's game over. You hit the wrong one. Are you okay, Sensei? Someone heal him! Yeah. 
There we go. Alright. We can totally do it. It's totally beatable. Honestly, we just needed more SP. Could have won that fight. <laughs> All right, uh, there we go. So, uh, nothing. Using a lot of go homes. Take me to that entrance. And you. Come on. Pretty please. Tch, fucking asshole. Uh, you want me to die, don't you, Fox? Alright, see you later, Teddy. Shit, we're gonna have to spend another day. Don't want to, but, you know. You're back. I am home. How about the thing I asked you before? Have you seen Adachi at Junez? Is he slagging off again? I heard more and more reports of him being seen just sitting around at Junez, looking bored. If they find out he's been sh uh, shrinking work, there's no telling what kind of trouble he'll get into. If you spot a Dachi at Junaz, you tell him that. You kick his ass for me. Open the fridge. There's chilled gulpin melon cream soda. Drink it? There's nothing else for me to do tonight. You powered down the entire bottle in less than a minute. The sweetness of the melon perfectly matches the taste of the cream. Oh, that was great. That was amazing. I'm glad I did that. Can I at least do something? You're exhausted. You can only sleep. Uh, can I- I can't study? Fuck. Ah, damn it, it's a Friday! Usually I would spend this time with Aerie. Damn it! It's Friday, Saturday. Uh, ah, fuck it. Who cares? Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, oh. Dachi. What you doing? Dojima sent me. This sucks. It's easy to investigate here with all these people around. It's cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's a pretty good Oops. place to. Yeah, I think I've said enough. Seems Dachi's slacking off. I'll hang out with you too. Oh, that's a little strange. What are you doing here? Killing time? Uh, tough to do out here in the sticks, isn't it? There's nothing here. It's not like the city at all. You can say that again. You're right. I know you understand. You're from the city too, right? <sighs> Get this. My first assignment here was tracking down a cat. My suit got so dirty and they wouldn't let me expense the dry cleaning bill. Next, I played peacemaker and a spat some merry- wait, what? And a spat some merry couple was having. I can't believe they got the police doing that stuff. Dachi seems unsatisfied with country life. But it's been more dangerous lately, so I can't kick back. There's that one case, you know? It's still not solved yet. The higher-ups don't know what to do. They keep changing procedure on the fly. Sorry! Oops! I hope I'm not making you nervous. You guys have nothing to worry about, you know? Us police are on the job. You sense that Adachi cares for you. You feel you understand Adachi a bit more. So Adachi, you know, just like Nanako, Dojima, and Marie has a hard time limit to his social link. So what you want to do, not only that he has a hard time limit, he only shows up on certain days. And not like certain days like, you know, the the sports team and stuff like that, where it's like Mondays, Fridays, and wherever the fuck. It's like, no, he only shows up on certain days out of the whole entire game. Right? You have to hang out with him both in the daytime and at well, night. You know? So, you know, Adachi's really uh, one of those motherfuckers that's just annoying to deal with Social Link, right? Because he's all over the fucking place. Well, time for him to get back to work. Phew, that was close. Adachi doesn't seem to want to be seen by that old woman. See ya. I better go. You hurry on home too. Don't tell Dojima-san I was at Juno's, okay? 
Yeah, so here's how your priorities want to go if you're trying to 100%, 100%, 100%, what the fuck am I saying? If you're trying to max out all the social links for your new game plus, the first half of the game, you know, until summer vacay, focus on everybody in the school. Don't focus on your teammates. Wait till summer vacay for that. Uh, for the fox, you want to hand in your Emma's on rainy days and pick up the requests whenever you can and do them as soon as you can. Um, you also want to, you know, prepare some shit ahead of time for the fox, w which we did earlier by um catching the two red fishes and stuff like that, like as early as we can. Welcome home. At nighttime, you wanna you wanna prioritize Nanako. And then after that, prioritize Dojima, right? Uh, so like, whenever you can hang out with Nanako, do it. When Dojima's here, hang out with him. Forgo Nanako. Dojima over Nanako. Right? My dogs are barking. And as for Adachi, you want to hang out with him as much as you can. Whenever you see him. Because... He's a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, what am I doing? Just gonna hang out with Nanako for the night, right? Nanako looks as if she's not trying to say anything. Your relationship with Nanako isn't ready to advance. You wanna hang out with her? I don't even have her persona, do I? I don't. Spend precious moments with Nanako. Your relationship is going to become strong soon. Alright. What time is it? Oh man, I am way over schedule. Okay. Uh. Shit. I wanna. Ah, fuck. I might as well do it. Might as well do it. I was going to try and end the, you know, because I'm overscheduled like a motherfucker, in the stream, right? But fuck it. We're close to beating Kanji, might as well go and do everyone, it. Right? Uh, let's see. Enter the TV. Don't worry, we can do this. I'm overscheduled because that means my background's going to start getting noisy real soon. And I'd rather not have you guys hear that shit. So, let's see if we can do this. Should be able to do it. Might take some time, but, you know. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. I'll send an SOS, why not? I'm not sure if it helps you during boss fights, but it doesn't matter. Wanna fight Kanji. I could have also head to the store and get some, uh, you know, upgrade my armor and shit, but, you know what, fuck it, who cares? Okay, um, I, am a sh I just want to know, how the fuck am I doing this? Uh, I think I'm gonna do it like this, right? Bufu. Get the initial damage. Nice moves, partner. Rakunda. Uh, Maka Jam on you. Oh, come on, Yosuke. You got one job. Literally. Actually, just one job. Miragi. Get as much damage on Shadow Kanji as we can. Now that Chie has some energy in her. Guys are poisoned. That poison resistance does not help me whatsoever. Red wall, that's fine. That just means that Yukiko is now on the defensive. Ow. Nice. Yosuke's all 
poisoned. Maka Jam. Nice job, Yosuke. Uh, should I go for damage or should I go for... Uh, for defense. Yosuke can get one shot by that fucking, um... By that electricity. That's the only thing I really gotta watch out for. Um... And once he's down, there's no way to... There's no way to fucking bring him back. I'll go for the damage. Get a nice guy out the way seems more important to me. Halfway down. Yosuke, watch out! Damn it! Yosuke, that was your only job. <laughs> Fucking excuse me? Since when... Since when was that the case? <laughs> what? Hello? Titan. Titan. Aren't you strong against physical? Am I wrong about that? I'm sorry? I am sorry? You're not strong- oh shit, I thought it was strong against physical. My bad. Damn. Oof. <laughs> well that sucked. That was not supposed to happen. All right, I'll give it one more try. Give it one more try. Yosuke had one fucking job. It's all you could have done, Yosuke. All right, Yosuke. Maka jam it. What is with you, Yosuke? Why are you so content on fucking me over today? All you've been doing is... Oh, come on, Yukika. All right, well, we fucked up. It's over. <laughs> it's over. You know what? Buff yourself, GA. Here you go. Get some more ice damage in there. Yosuke had one job. One job, man. Chan's in danger. Heal her. <laughs> Dodged Yosuke's it. Yosuke's all poisoned. Persona. Ow. That's how it's done. That's painful. Chie Chan's really hurting. Heal her. Yosuke, why do you hate me so? <laughs> All right, well. Go on defense, I guess. All I need is Yosuke to hit Maka Jam so I can fucking use Tsukukage on his ass so he can dodge. Oh, but you survived that one, Yosuke, huh? like he did that much damage last time. I was like in the game for like a while before I fucking got my ass handed to me. What happened? What changed, game? Oh shit, I forgot you got white wall on you. Fuck. Yosuke barely has any health. Yeah, no, we're dead. We're dead. The moment the moment Yosuke missed Maga Jam. 
poisoned. It was all over. None of that shit's gonna help me. <laughs> Skull cracker, chance of panic. Sure, why not? No longer poisoned. You had one job, Yosuke. You still can't do it. <laughs> what is with you, man? Oh, your red wall is still up? I thought it was over. Oh yeah, it's over. Your leader's dead. <laughs> uh. All right. Yeah, no way. It's doable, but ain't no way I'm gonna be able to do it in time. Especially in Yosuke's content on fucking me over. Yosuke, what do you got on you? Can I? What does this say? What does that say? What does that say? <laughs> Fucking worthless. This whole entire stream you've been doing nothing but dying on me. You fucking piece of shit. Alright. Well, unfortunately that's gonna be it for this stream. We're gonna have to come back and kick Kanji's ass at a later date. But, uh, I think we made some good progress. Right, fucking next time we stream Persona, if it happens earlier, I'll probably send a fucking notification through the YouTube, through YouTube's, uh, what's it called, community tab, right? But if not, then it's already on the schedule. Next stream that we do is going to be more Phoenix Wright, not Phoenix Wright, I keep saying that, fuck. More, uh, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, right? We're on, we're still on the second case on the boat in that one. We're about done with that case, so we'll probably be moving on to the third one. But, you know, it's gonna be it. <laughs> it's gonna be it for now. Uh, let's see. For those who came and watched on Twitch, thank you very much. Thank you for watching live. I greatly appreciate it. Hope to see you again. Uh, for those who followed, thank you again. Helps out a lot more than you know. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like it, click that like button. Button? Why, why'd I say it like that? What the fuck? Click the like button. You know what? Just go to all my other videos and click the like button. Why not? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, all that shit. But if you're watching it on YouTube, try catching the streams, because, you know, get the playthroughs earlier and stuff like that. You don't see the playthroughs until I'm done with them. And then, also for YouTube right now, what's going on with it is, uh, uploading the previous streams for Vampire the Masquerade and Corpse Party Blood Drive. And I still have to get some videos out for Nightmare Before Christmas. So, all that other bullshit. But, <clears throat> that's it for now. I'm at a good time, but I'm gonna get something to eat and peace out. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy. And take care.